I think we are live now. Hello. Sorry about that delay. I, yeah, I don't even know. One second, it was like 9.34. And then 10 minutes later, it was 10.06. So that was fun. <laughs> but I'm here now. And you can see this beautiful board that I've been working on. So I have kind of been late. That and getting distracted a lot, but mostly that. Oh, thank you. I uh, kind of was just being annoyed with my hair today, and it was like all like pulled up earlier, but then I let it down just into a ponytail. I'm like, oh, this actually looks kind of nice today. You can see my cool earring thingy. It's fun times, so it's a little bit messy, but it's fine. My hair just does that. A few months ago, I practically had bangs because of how many little flyaways I would get. I mean, sometimes I still get them, but they're, like, down to, like, here now, so. <laughs> it's fun times. All right, let me finish getting my PayPal and Venmo ready. Because I was also rushing to get those ready last second, as per usual. All right, I think they're good. Let's see, I'm going to wear this over slightly. I look like a princess! Well, thank you. I, uh... Though, personally, I prefer a queen. I will accept princess as well. <laughs> Alright, we're all good to go. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I forgot something super important to put on the board. Oh my goodness, let me, let me grab a marker. And remember how to count real quick. Okay. Bam. <laughs> Hello, OG Kyle. Now you got both the Kyles in the chat. It was good times. I'm gonna take a drink of lemonade before we get started. Princess Leia. I don't know if I necessarily look like Princess Leia, but you know, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Alright, let me refresh, refresh. Just to check if we got any orders. All right, none yet. You're gonna claim I'm um, Walgreens mystery? All right, I will mark that off the board as soon as it comes. I have four, because that's what I put on the board. <laughs> oh, how many packs are in the Walgreens mystery? They come with one pack, a promo card, and a random code card and I opened a couple of them earlier just because I was too excited and I got some random stuff like way random like I got like a flash fire code card I think for one of them and I was like oh that's spicy and a couple of them I'm like I have no idea what this code card is from let me see if I can find them and show you all the front should be somewhere in this weird stack of code cards I have like this I, I've never seen that one before, but it's really cool. Ramen or nachos? Why not both? Eat one now and one in two hours. Problem solved. <laughs> Where are the other ones? There are at least like... I opened a few. So there are at least like three weird ones, but... Oh, look. There's another one. Oh, this one's for a whole deck. No, I don't know whatever I did with the uh, flash fire one. I must have put it somewhere really weird. I'll find it eventually. I lose things so often and occasionally they just randomly show back up. Since for some reason that's just how it goes. Yeah. No, I have no idea where I uh, put that flash fire one, but I have it somewhere. Ooh. <laughs> oh, well, it was nice having you for a minute. Hello. And that sounds awesome. I'm very excited. <laughs> All right, I'll check orders again, just because I'm very excited to get started tonight. Save you a mystery pack. I generally do stuff first come, first serve. Just as soon as the order comes through, I'll take it off. But I think you should be able to get one as long as you pay within like five, ten minutes. 
like playing with this whiteboard marker because I can. Oh, I should show you guys. I got this whole hand with my new nails on it now. This one still has the pinky and ring finger as sealed ones. But look, I've got eight whole fingers with my new nails and I'm loving them. Which stuff will I be giving away? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Probably just the code cards. I should show you all. I got a uh, Charles package today and it came in a box and so I couldn't help but open it on stream. So, I mean, open it before stream, but I didn't take like everything all the way out so I could at least show some of it up on stream. All right, I'll start with I'll start with this. I was so excited about this one. So we got a Kangaskhan pin, and this Pikachu figure. So what's really amazing about getting this Pikachu figure is, a long time back I was at the store buying some Detective Pikachu stuff, and I had two options. I had the option that came with this figure, or the option that came with this figure. And I wanted both of them really, really bad, but I ended up going with this one. And so when I saw this in here, I was so stoked because I'm like, oh my goodness, now I have both of the Detective Pikachu figures. And so I'm so excited about that. So I'll, go, I'll put both of those back there together so they can be happy friends. So cute. Also, I must say, uh, me and my sister had a great time with all the bubble wrap. I was, I was sitting on the floor with her and my mom when we opened it. And the first thing I see is bubble wrap. And I take a handful of it and I hand it to her. I'm like, I know you want this. And that was, was great. Bubble wrap is just amazing, as you can see. I'm very much enjoying it right now. Uh, it's just delightful. But I'll put it on the floor. And then stickers! You also know by now that I am absolutely obsessed with stickers. And these are absolutely beautiful. But if that, if that wasn't good enough to fulfill my need for stickers, I didn't actually pull these out of the stuff yet. Bubble wrap, you must let go now. Then in here, we've got these amazing little packs of stickers. And I am like so excited. And look how cute the Pikachu on the front is. And like, what's crazy? These are copyrighted before I was born, which is kind of whack, but kind of cool. But I'm so excited about these. I don't want to open at least one of them sometime soon, but like, I don't know like when I should. I'm like, I just want to like, I don't know. I'll probably maybe open one at either 700 or 1,000 subs. And I don't know about the rest. I also got these collectible dog tags. I had absolutely no idea this was a thing, but like, these are pretty fantastic, not gonna lie. See, this one's got a, oh. I'll flip them upside down and sideways so you can see them. It's Beedrill, which of course reminds me of Beedrill B. Benson, so that's pretty vibey. And then we've also got this that I didn't take out. There we are. We got these beauties. And I'm especially excited about the Grookey because I have a Grookey one. But it's got this weird, like, air line, like, off the side, and it looks so awful, and I'm like, there we go. Now I have a good-looking Grookey to make up for whatever the heck happened with the one that I have. Like, it's just weird. I'm like, how did this even happen? But, problem solved. I freaking love these, uh, I like how they're kind of, like, doing something more with the jumbo cards. Like, at first I was just like, I don't like these, they need to stop. But I'm like, oh, all right, now they're actually doing something with them. I think this is okay. I think this is okay. And then we've got this full of code cards that I will be letting many of y'all enjoy. And finally, the crowning jewel, besides the bubble wrap, of course. <laughs> oh my goodness, I had so much fun playing with this. It's so epic, and look, he's got Pikachu! And now I have two. I have two golden cards and a Pokeball for once, because the other one, I don't have a Pokeball. But this one, and oh my goodness, it's so satisfying the way it like slowly opens. I could just like open and close it all day. Oh, it's so smooth. Oh, 
Okay, I'll stop doing that now though since <laughs> this is probably not the time to just do it over and over again. But seriously, I love it. So thank you so much for these. I We had so much fun opening it and going through everything. I don't know what gold cards are worth now because I haven't been into them since last summer. And I mean, last summer, people would try to sell them for a lot, but they really weren't worth much at the time. A lot of people were selling them really cheap. I probably got my Tegepi one, maybe like five bucks, but it seems like they've been overall going up in price along with everything else lately. So I no longer know what they go for. But really, I feel like the hard part is finding them because they seem to be a lot for sale during the summer, but I haven't seen any go up for sale in a hot second, unless it was for like $100 and I'm like, how's a lot more than they were for earlier? This way, I don't even have to worry about looking for Pikachus, because I've got one. And this freaking epic Pokeball. One more time. Oh, I love it! <laughs> I'm going to put that... Oh, let's see. I'll put it here for now, and when I finally clean up my room, I will find a better spot to display it. Yes, thank you so much. I'm so excited about all this, especially the stickers and the bubble wrap and the Pokeball. How much for that adorable quillfish? Puffy, we all know it's not for sale. You should, you should know by now. I mean, you're the one that was enforcing that at one point. <laughs> right, I'll have to figure out a cool way to display all of this later, but... Yay! I'm glad your cards came. It's very good to hear. It seems like a lot of the stuff that we sent out earlier this week went quite quickly, which was awesome. I'm like, I like it. I like it. Yes, just one in the Walgreens pack. See, I'll show y'all. Got one booster pack, one foil card, and one online code card. And honestly, the code cards are totally just random 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 stuff like i said i got a flash fire one two from like things that i don't even know what they are i think i also got like a cantos collection box thingy one it was uh it was great <laughs> i've opened i haven't opened any of the stickers i have like 25 packs well i am very grateful that you decided to share your stickers with me because i'm very very excited I just like, my goodness, stickers are amazing. I just need like stacks of unused stickers and I'm just content. I don't know why, but I just, I just, they make me so happy. Just the potential fills me with absolute glee. It is, it is amazing. Like I've got a bunch of little stickers like this. This one's mostly used up because I used it to decorate a note. But like, I love having these. When I first got them, I would like randomly, just, I just randomly like grabbed two and was like, they go on my face. Where's my hat? My hat is right here behind me. I just have a ponytail so it won't fit on my head. This is behind me instead. But now there's a mud kip on my face because this is the one I grabbed. I should get one for the outside of my face. Who else should I put on my face? I'll let y'all choose. We got Piplup, Cyndaquil, Trico, Charmander, Squirtle, Chimchar, Totodile. There's a Torchic, Bulbasaur, and Turtwig. And Chikorita. I didn't say Chikorita yet. She also should pick one for me to put on my other cheek. And we'll see how long I want them on my face before I'm like, never mind, I want these not on my face. I mean, the first time I put some on my face, it lasted like a couple hours. But <laughs> then I was just like, you know, I don't need these on my face anymore. I should probably check for orders now that I've been... Just hanging out for so long. All right. Looks like we've got the first actual purchase for a Walgreen pack. So let's see. My goodness, I can't get the lid on. For John. Awesome. Whoa, that's an ugly three. All right, so far we have a vote for Piplup and a vault. Volt. Volt. Wow. Like I'm talking about voltage, like vivid voltage, which I have today. Yay! I forgot 
I was talking about, though. Um. Oh, yes, Walgreens pack for John. That's what we're supposed to be doing. You are ready to see what mysteries and wonders it holds? I, I certainly am. I need a drink first, though. So, like, I lost my, uh, lemonade that I had at the start of the day. So, I was like, I don't know what to do. It's just gone. So, then later I just got a second one. And so now I had one that was still mostly full for the stream. And I was like, yay! I finally have lemonade rather than Sprite or some other weird random drink from a stream. So, it's good. My throat still hurts, though. That's just probably because I spend too many hours monologuing and, you know, talking to y'all. Oh, Puffy was not voting, so that means the only vote was Bulbasaur. Well, that's an easy enough uh, decision for me. Let's see. That's super off center. Ah, oh, they're still totally not, uh, you know, but they still love my face and they're still so cute. He said for the other three. Oh dear, that might cause some. Let's see. Well, I think that means all of the Walgreens are gone. Because it looks like Charles also wanted one. But I did have one extra that I was probably just gonna keep for myself, but it's okay, it's okay. Those are just gone! I wish I'd found more now. But, uh, these were, these are what I got. All right, so we've got four Walgreens mystery packs for John. There we go. And then Charles, yes, I do have one for you just to clarify. All right, are we ready to go? Are we ready to get excitement? I certainly am. And it looks like our first pack is a Burning Shadows. I don't know whether the code card will come first. Oh my gosh, we got Vaporeon! Oh, it's so beautiful. And hey, look! And a Flashfire code card. Let me know if you want that or if I should just show it. This is so freaking cute. Let's get Vaporeon into his sleeve. I, I told you, Florida, I have to do it on first come, first serve. It's, uh, whoever pays first gets it, because if I hold stuff half the time, people never ended up paying for it, and it just was really awkward, and I was like, what do I do? And it was just awkward. But I'll try to find more as soon as I can. I mean, this is the first time I've shown them, so, I mean, shown them, found them. So, hopefully I'll find more. Show the codes. Cool. It looks like somebody is getting flash fire tonight. There is that a beautiful code. It says sorry. The sorry is for Pyro. Whoosh! I got to my trash can. That's pretty impressive. Oh, I'm sorry, Pyro. Next time you just gotta pay faster. I I can't I can't just hold stuff unless it's paid for. And then more than the packs that I have in the board were so. I just go to click. You keep your code card on this one. Good to know, Charles. There is that code. Scribble, scribble. Whoosh! Ah! I just hit the, my phone with it. One, two, three, four. But hey, Pyro, on a up note, I do have a. What, what's it called? What's it called and where is it? Guardians Rising! See? I got Guardians Rising today. It's kind of more expensive than usual, which I know is lame. I thought what I was buying came with only Guardians Rising, but it also came with Steam Siege. And as we all know, people don't want to pay as much for Steam Siege as Guardians Rising. So I kind of messed up my plans, but uh, yeah. All right. Anyways, let's get into this pack for John. Starting with the Darkness Energy. We have Wick, Escape Rope, Buffaland, Crabrawler, Morlo, Sandy Ghast, Venipede. Horsey, Morlo Reverse, and Heracross. Nothing too exciting from that one. Hey, 
welcome Alexis. Nice to see you in the chat again. I'm pretty sure I have an email to respond to you, so I'm sorry if I take forever to respond sometimes. Wow, look at that. We got another burning shadows. And we got a butterfree reverse rail. Make sure to sleeve up. And we don't even know what this one is for. Let's see. Roaring skies. How random. That was a wacky throw. Not gonna lie. Right. Butterfree into the sleeve. All right, and now time for Burning Shadows number two. Where are my scissors? Here they are. I found them. Let's see if we can get something spicy from this one. Whoosh. Nope, that was a terrible throw. Just going to move on. All right, starting off with a fighting energy. Plumeria, Cedra, Rotom Dex, Esper. There's a Morlul and a Charmander, Porygon, Mario, We've all reversed rare to sleeve up, and a Beware. Adorable. Oh my gosh. I wish I could find a Vivid box for that cheap. I can't even find Vivid boxes in my area, but if I wanted to like go like drive an hour to get one, I could pay like 250 for it. <laughs> Which I don't really want to do, but who knows, at this point I might. <coughs> No, 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 not gonna lie. My mom wouldn't let me drop that far, so. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll get a vivid booster box and we'll just be vibing. Alrighty, next up. Ooh, this one's got Ultra Prism. Oh my gosh, it's Mew! Oh, I love Mew. And for this K card, it's another green one. This one is Battle Arena Dex, Xerneas versus Veltzel. That's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Whoosh. Ah, I almost got into the trash. All right, let's get that adorable Mew into his sleeve. Oh my gosh, yes, the Charmander promo from Battle Styles. I absolutely adore it. I actually got one with a swirl today. I should show you all of that. I know, this is my Moltres. This is what I got in one of the mystery packs from All Greens Open for myself. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let's see, is this a Charmander with a swirl? Oh yes. Let me take it out of the sleeve so you can all can see it well. So the swirl is like on his tail. Like right around the edge of his tail. I think you guys can probably see that. But yeah, I got that today which I'm pretty excited about. Alright, so yes, there's your Mew. I should check for swirls on it. Right, nothing that I can see. Let's move on to Ultra Prism now. Snip! I always love opening Ultra Prism. Scoop, scoop. Whoosh! That was a bad throw. Alright, we got one, two, three, four. Alright, starting off with a Metal Energy. Unit Energy, Prinplop, Oranguru, Snover, Glimmeow, Drifloon, Morlol, Cosmos, Alolan Diglett, and an Alolan Executor. I'm the next painting. Oh my gosh, I have not been able to paint like at all this week. I don't even know the last time I did any painting. But hopefully by Monday. Oh, this one is backwards. It's like, is it Steam Siege? Indeed it is. It's Steam Siege. And we got this snazzy Alolan Meow Polyfoil. And let's see what this code card is. It is an XY6 Premium Check Lane Blister. How exciting. That was a bad throw. <laughs> Alright, let me get this meal sleeved up. Ooh, this one has a swirl. It's right by his knee. Let me, uh... Oh, yeah. See, there you go. This one's got a swirl. We love swirls. Ramen's so good. Well, of course, it's ramen. It has to be good. All right. And let's see what the Steam Siege has got in store for us. But, yeah, I'll try to have a painting by, like, Monday. But, really, I have no idea. 
when I will get them more. All right, we got one, two, three. Let's get something spicy. Got Captivate. <laughs> Hoka Pop. It's a Flappy. Steelix Spirit Link. Marie. Bergmai. Fungus. Jiltic. Litwick. Ooh, a Pyro Reversed Rare. I'll make sure to sleeve that up. And an Infernate Polyfoil. All right, well, at least we got a Polyfoil in that one. Hey, welcome, Norm. Nice to see ya. I also noticed that pack was double fire, so. <laughs> we got fire in one way or another. Alrighty. Here is all your stuff, John. I definitely say the uh, promo cards were the most exciting part. Even though technically this Butterfree isn't even a promo card, but the other ones were. Alright, I will get those with your stuff. Thank you very much for the order. Let's see. There we are. Right on top. And let's see. Next up, I believe we've got one for Charles. Yep. Cool, cool. Let's see. Here it is. Beautiful. And you wanted to keep your code cover, I believe. Ooh, it looks like you have gotten an Ultra Prism as well. Let's see, for promo card, oh my gosh! We got an X and Y base set Raichu. That is gorgeous. And for code card, spicy with Veltzel on it. That's pretty cool. Let's see. I don't know what that's like from X and Y base or something. Since you do my cost 76 bucks. <laughs> yes, yes, 76 dollars exactly. I'm glad you understand. <laughs> All right, let's get that lovely ride shoe sleeved up. It's a beautiful card. And Let's see what Ultra Prism holds for you. Do you want the uh, Ultra Prism code card as well, or just the one from the mystery pack? I'll just set that on my desk until I know. One, two, three, four. All right, starting off with a Metal Energy. Metal Energy. What the heck is happening here? Okay, so, uh, that was four energies? Let's just see how this goes. <laughs> I got Snowbird, Lemiao, Drifloon, Morlul, Hunchcrow Reverse. <laughs> I have absolutely no clue what that was. Like, I was like, was this tampered with? I don't know, but they gave us a good surprise. <laughs> Volkner Full Art, and based on the texture and the star, I can tell it's legit. It's not a fake card or anything, so... I don't even know! That was just like... What?! We just, you know, had three extra energies super just casually. And pull a Full Art Trainer? Like... That was... I have no clue. I was like about ready to be like, oh man, this must have been a, uh, yeah, this must have been tampered with. I'll, uh, I'll get you a new one. I mean, if you want a new one, I'll trade you for the Volknor and Honchcrow and get you a new one for some. But I can imagine you would be uh, pretty happy. You want all of the, uh, every one of those energies? Because, I mean, the pack still had in it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Seven cards and four energies. <laughs> that is just... Wow. That is bizarre. But, like, okay. Okay, then. Whatever the heck uh, Ultra Prism is doing. I don't know. <laughs> that is, like... That's the 
the best air pack I've ever seen. You know, just a bunch of extra energies, and then you keep going on, and then... And then they just walk away. No one will believe it. I mean, you could just, like, record the part of the stream, but... <laughs> Kyle's like, I want that card. No, uh, I think this is Charles' card. Unless he trades it to me for another Ultra Prism pack, but that is entirely up to him. Okay. <laughs> Kyle... Sorry, Kyle, this one, this, this one is not for auction. I do have some other trainers that I could auction off, though. So, if any of y'all are interested in bidding on some full art trainers, I do have, like, two or three. I don't know if I could part with a couple of them, but at least one for certain. <laughs> Kyle really wants the, uh, Volknor. I can't blame him. Like, who wouldn't? Alright, let me see if I've still got stuff for you if I'll start a new one. See, I think we might be starting a new one. Yeah, I'm not seeing your name. So let's go ahead and start a new one. Do you have originals now? <laughs> 5k times zero. Oh yes, my favorite. All right, let's see. Where did I put my sticky notes? Oh, they're just under this pile of card cards. It will go well with my turn. So please see that do. Nice. All right, Frog Ben, come help me. All right, there we go. And I will get those put over here for you. Just wow. What? A, what a pack. That's all I got to say. Also, my uh, stickers want to fall off. There we go. Alright, so I should check for my orders now. Do, do, do. You ship the bag with the shiny star V packs. Um, I shipped a bunch of stuff out this week, so it should be on its way. Yeah, I I believe so, cause I couldn't find anything else for you, so that probably meant I sent it. I've been doing I've been doing shipping a lot more regularly lately. Like I even got a bunch of stuff ready today to ship. I won't actually get it out till tomorrow, just cause. I was really busy all day and couldn't do it until like way after the post office closed. Man, today was just very, very busy. You know, woke up and was just like, what? Cause I was really, really tired. And then I like ate breakfast and stuff and I did homework for a while. Like a long, long way. But then I went and like went searching for cards and that's how I filled up the board. Because after last night, it was so empty, but yeah, I refilled it. I actually just took a bunch of stuff out of my secret stash too, though. <laughs> but, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, I was talking about my outing. But yeah, I went and bought stuff and stuff. And then got home and just kind of was like, I have no energy left. kind of just sat on the floor for a little bit and I was like oh man I gotta get ready for the stream now so I did but I took way too long with that and was kind of late by like six or seven minutes but then now I'm here that's been my day ask how old you are how old I am I am 17 I am but a youngling at least until November I'm gonna be an adult pretty wild I know I know Send shipping so we can get the training out for grading. Sounds good. I should be able to probably get that out tomorrow. Tomorrow or Monday. Tomorrow's Saturday. Since when was it the end of the week? Like, at what point did that happen? <laughs> Ooh, we got two mystery packs. I like it. And I'll write your name down for shipping. I'll need this red and paper right there. There we go. There we go. Nice. We'll get that sent out as soon as I can. 
now mystery packs yes finally i've been so excited to open more of these i like had a blast putting these ones together there you go look how pretty they are i love all my fancy paper all right let's get you some good stuff charles Starting off with a pig knight, my cargo, reboot. Wow, a lot of fire stuff. He's a Charmander. I'm excited to see what I put in these ones. Oh, it's not fire. Surprise. <laughs> you have a Blissey. Oh, and there's a fire. And a, and a fire helpful energy. I'm delightful with the way I put these things together. I just, <laughs> I, I, I love it. I enjoy my own mystery pack so much. All right, and now time for the second one. I can get it open. Come on, little mystery pack. All right, starting off with a Curlia. We have Swoobat, Haunter, Glaring Ponyta, and Sleeved Up. A Poltegeist. So see, that one, the other one was almost fire, but this one was all psychic. It's kind of funny, because I just, like, made these in a random order, and, like, randomly, like, did, like, themed ones, and then I, like, mixed all of the packs up, so it's really ironic that these two ended up next to each other. I mean, like, it's not like they're the only packs that I've done, like, themed, but it's kind of funny that they still ended up next to each other. So, yes, there are your mystery cards. I'll get those in with the rest of your stuff. Oh, I'm just so pleased today. I've gotten to open so much mystery stuff. You know, the Walgreens stuff? Fun, because it's new. My stuff? Just fun, because I love it. I'm so, I'm so silly, but I just... I have so much fun making my mystery packs. And I just, like, wait in, like, anticipation for people to buy them. Like, ooh, ooh, when are they? Um, when are they? When am I going to get to show them all the cool stuff I put inside? But, like, not gonna lie, we haven't even gotten to the best of them yet. This is just, like, these are, like, the, uh, on, like, a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being the packs that don't have anything hollow foil, like, not even reverse, and 10 being a little secret surprise you aren't allowed to know, but it's pretty freaking epic. I think these ones would be, like, a 4. Maybe a 5. But, yeah, that is so much better. Open the sticker pack. But, but I kind of want to save them for, like, when I get farther, but at the same time, not what the heck, I'll just do it. Why not? Why not? We need more stickers. So I shall open a beautiful sticker pack. I like, want to, like, see if I can, like, open it, like, really neatly. So be very careful. Yeah, that guy's got a little hole and it doesn't help, so I'm like, maybe if I open it from the bottom, that's the most careful way to do so. Almost got it, my nails are just giving me a hard time. Aha! There we go. We're getting it open now. Kind of. I don't know which side they're going to be on, but I guess let's just... Uh, I'll have to tear just a little bit more for them to come out. It's a pretty uh, tough package. I guess I probably should like turn around so we see the, wait, no. Oh, oh, this is a sticker. The whole front, I think, is a sticker. Oh my goodness. Ooh, and a Hitmonlee. Kadabra! I like that one. I like that one. Ah, Vile Plume. And Weedle, oh my goodness, they're so cute. Oh my gosh. I think the Jatini is my favorite, not gonna lie. Like, it's just such a cute baby. But, like, the Kadabra is a pretty close second, because that is so cool. These are amazing. Are the mystery packs spicy? Mystery packs are always spicy. And, uh, yes, you can look at them. Let me just try and check first. I think I saw an order. Also, thank you again for the stickers, Charles. Like, 
They're so exciting. All right, yes, we have a team up and an unbroken bonds for Hamtastic. I'm going to mark those off the board, then I'll show you what the mystery packs look like. And then we'll open those packs. Team up, unbroken bonds. All right. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. <gasps> See? So, like, they're all delightful and in pastel colors, but the insides are, like, heckin' spicy, I promise you. Like, look at all of these. They're all delightful. Some of them are thicker than others. Some of them are just poofy. But, yeah, I've got a lot of them. And there's some good stuff in there. I, I've got to, I gotta say, there's some good stuff in there. All right, so team up and unbroken bonds. Let's grab those. So here's the unbroken bonds, and there is the team up. Absolutely beautiful packs, and let's get into them. Snip. Where's my pen? Here it is. Whoosh! Oh, it almost got into the trash can, but I threw it just barely too hard, so it reflected off of the wall. This is rough. <laughs> All right, we've got a Metal Energy, Tentacruel, Return Label, Night Arena, Mankey, Litten, Imolga, Mareep, Full Fix, Ponyta Reverse, and oh my, it's Mr. Mime. Okay, right, let's hope the next one is a little more uh, pleasant. And it is Unbroken Bonds, which is a very vibey set. Rip, rip, rip. Oh, wow. Just ripping that real interestingly. Like I do. Because I can. And I just kind of do. That was a weird throw. I'm <laughs> just destroying the pack. Don't mind me. Alrighty. Starting off the grass type energy. Koga's Trap. Dust Island. Payuku Mumuku, Oddish, Mischievous, Slandit, Lumiel, Diglett, Rotata Reverse, and ooh, look at that beautiful Gengar. It's not a hollow foil, but that is a gorgeous card, I must say. Right, it was nice having you, Puffy. I hope to see you later, and yes, hopefully we will find a Quillfish. What's ripping shit? So basically the concept of Rip and Chips is I've got all these packs and people will purchase one from me and I'll open it for them. So like I'll rip open the pack and then they get to keep the reverse and rare card unless they want to pay an extra dollar for me to ship the bulk. Bulk's just expensive. But then I uh, gather up their cards like for a few days until they want to pay shipping and then I ship the cards to them. And so yeah, it's Rip and Ship. It's, it's fun. Basically, I just get to do the hard job of finding all these packs and using up all my gas <laughs> to, to find them. And then I distribute them. And it's very fun. Ooh. I'm very tired. Oh. Alright, thank you very much for that purchase, Hamtastic. I got all your other stuff ready to send out, so I'll start a new pile for you. Get my sticky notes. Handy dandy. Boop, boop. Well, that was sloppy, but not as sloppy as the previous <laughs> the previous sticky note I had for you. Let's see. I'll put that one here. There we go. Alright, let me check if we've got anything else. And I also want another drink because I'm thirsty. Just yummy. Oh. And I'm tired. But I'm always tired, so y'all are used to that. Oh, I forgot. I got something for myself to open, too. I got one of these weird things. They also had these at 
Walgreens, and I was vibing with this one, so I guess I should have. Let's see what is inside. Starting off with an energy, an energy, teammates, the Sandra Labs reverse. Interesting. Oh my gosh, I love it! We got Glacian and Lisha. And another, another Glacian. Alright, that was pretty great. We got a Carvana, Vulpix, Gibble, Dartrix, Talonflame. Ooh, there's a throw. And then. Uh, Thunderous, Lilip, Tepig, Chinchow, Clefairy, Bronzong, Whizcash, and a Luxray Holofoil. I don't even know what set this is. I like, I've seen the symbol before, but I don't remember. So if anybody knows what set that is, you should let me know. It is a beautiful Holofoil, though. I'm gonna get that sleeved up. Right after I check for swirls. Since checking for swirls is now one of my regular hobbies. I don't think I see any, but it's still so beautiful. Sold all your first edition photos. That's a lot. Ooh, got your first Shining Fates ETB. That's so exciting. I wish I got a Shining Fates ETB today, but it would have been like my... Oh, I couldn't even count how many I've got. I bought a lot. At a very, very bizarre range of prices. <laughs> all right well uh these four were definitely the best out of that and i'm quite happy with those just just because they're cool and they're promo cards i'm gonna get these two glacions and the Leafeon, uh sleeved up because like those are kind of fantastic i kind of wonder if these are like the ones from the uh like the umbreon dark cry deoxys uh Espion tag team box thing. Because I got that one that one a long, long time ago. And I remember that it had some other evolutions in it, like just normal cards. So I think it could have been these. So maybe I already have those, but I don't know. I, really, I love them, so I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, it was exciting that we got a <laughs> random uh, reverse in there too. Pretty uh, vibey. And then some older trainer from like Phantom Forces or something like that. I don't remember what it is though. I'm not gonna. Oh, maybe it's Primal Clash. Yeah, I think that's the symbol for Primal Clash. Even though like I have Primal Clash, I still forget what the symbol is a lot. And that's just because I am forgetful. So, yeah. Oh, I should show y'all some of the stuff that I could potentially auction off tonight. Looks like it's from Black and White Next Destinies. Ooh, I like that, a black and white set. That's very cool. Thank you for letting me know. That is exciting to know what it's from. Next Destinies. Now I have an overwhelming desire to find a pack of Next Destinies. <laughs> that would be so cool. I should look into that at some point. Now what in the world was I just barely thinking of that I wanted to do? Oh yeah, I was going to show you guys some stuff I might auction off. Let's see, he's all hiding back here. Of course I still have Dapper Tangela, which I guess was done by me. I have this cool Team Magma's Clay Doll Hall of Foil. Let's see what else is in the pile. I have a lot of cool stuff, but I haven't like quite decided what I'm gonna do with it all yet. I also have this Zorark, but I'm pretty sure Blazer wants to be there whenever I do that one. Let's see, I have a Sophocles full art trainer. Some of these are the ones I just bought for myself. I actually can't remember some of them, which ones were for me and which ones I was like, oh yeah, these are for the stream. Just because I, uh, kind of just want to keep everything. <laughs> and now, what else was I looking for? Where would I find it? Hmm. 
Maybe it would be in here, but I don't know. Let me, uh, let me check if this might be where the other thing I have to potentially auction off is hiding. Hmm. I have so many interesting things. Where is the one I'm looking for? Do, do, do. Yeah, I don't know where it is. I'll find it another time, I guess. Hey, welcome, Joe. You have definitely missed a bit of excitement. We had some of the Walgreens mystery packs. They went super quick. The last one we opened was definitely the most exciting. <laughs> it had the weirdest um, air pack of Ultra Prism. It had four, four, four energies in it. And so I was like, this has to be repackaged. But apparently it wasn't because the final card in it was a full art trainer. <laughs> it was just insane. <laughs> a bunch of band cards. Hey, hello other Joe. Got both of the Joes simultaneously. How curious. How mysterious. <laughs> so it's fun times. Yeah, for now, I'm probably just going to keep all my other stuff and not even offer to auction it off yet. Yet, that is. Eventually, I might be like, yeah, no, I did take this out of my rip and ships budget. I probably should do what I said I would with it. <laughs> oh, sometimes it's just hard because I just want all this cool stuff. <laughs> it's beautiful. All right, let me, uh. Put those away now. Wait, what is this random card on the bottom? Ah, oh, it's a cute little cosmog. Fun. It's just some... Oh, yes. I, uh... Middleman. <laughs> four energies. Yes, four. I was like, I was so certain it had to be like repackaged, but guess not. It had a full art trainer. <laughs> it was seriously crazy. Alright, doesn't look like we've got any more orders yet. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm tired. Just a little bit tired. It's okay, because I'm still vibing. But my little teeny flyaway hair is being special. Stay. I highly doubt they listened, but we'll see how long they stay. Middle woman, yes, uh, that may be more uh, accurate. <laughs> Let me uh, like playing with my choker. This one's got little light like lightning bolts on it. I love it. And it doesn't quite match, but in a way I like to think it does, but my uh, chain has little teeny stars on it. And I know you guys can't really see them, but I promise they're stars, and they're very fun. <laughs> Very mysterious, random cards. Do you think if I show my crush my Pokemon cards, she'll like me? I mean, it is possible, but I have no idea. She could be a mad woman, for all we know. It's a, it's a mystery. Some people are just insane, but some people will understand. And personally, I would find, uh, if a guy tried to impress me with his Pokemon, I would just be like, this is top notch. Because <laughs> Pokemon is just amazing. I love Pokemon. She gone. She gone. Who gone? Because I'm not gone, I don't think. Unless I'm gone and I just don't know it. So I guess it's possible or something. If she doesn't think too bad for her, exactly. It's her loss. She is the one losing if she is not impressed. <laughs> it is those with the Pokemon that are in a superior situation. That's why, uh, that's why I'm just vibing and literally becoming the queen of the world, because, uh, Pokemon. It also has a lot to do with my, like, ambitions and other things, but 
Pokemon is what gave me the confidence to get there. It's vital to all of my uh, process in, uh, you know, oh, his crush. Oh dear. Well, interesting, interesting. I like put these away. I just always throw them on my desk and I'm like, this is gonna make my desk a mess. So I'll just throw them, uh, I tried to throw them on a shelf and they landed on the floor, so. I tried, <laughs> and they failed, but that's not that unusual, so it's, it's, not, it's all good. It's all good. Your life isn't impressed until you sold some first edition. See, that's the thing, is, uh, when I get married, I'm gonna just, if my husband doesn't like Pokemon, that's just not gonna happen, because I'm not gonna marry someone that doesn't support my Pokemon. Imagine, like, going on a date with someone, and I'm like, Hey, so, like, you know Pokemon? And they're just like, oh, that, like, weird game? I'm like, yeah, I love Pokemon. I have a whole YouTube channel about it. And then they're just like, oh, that's exciting. How many subscribers? And I'll be like, say whatever amount I had by then. Probably, like, 100,000. I feel like that would make sense. By the time I'm looking for a serious relationship, I should have, like, 100,000. Wouldn't y'all think? I would think so. But then if they, then I'd be like, yeah, yeah. They'd be like, that's, that's so cool. But why Pokemon? They'd be like, cause I love Pokemon. It's so delightful. And they're like, I don't know. It's kind of like a thing for kids. I'm like, mm -mm. no, 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 no. Pokemon is for everyone. Especially me. Cause I'm like the queen of it. And uh, there may be like several other women competing for that title, but I just gave it to myself because I do that a lot. Just, you know, procre proclaim myself queen because I can but then you know if he continues to uh have uh issues and saying things about Pokemon I'll be like I'm sorry my guy but we, I just can't continue this we're over I'm gonna go find somebody that likes Pokemon maybe or maybe I'll like invent like a dating app that's like dating for Pokemon addicts and there'll only be people that would be super supportive of Pokemon on there. Problem solved. It'd be so nice. It'd be great. That'd be great. Yes. This is, this is, this sounds like the ideal, uh, ideal plan. Always be supported in Pokemon. Just only associate yourself with people that love Pokemon and support it fully. You can't go wrong. You, you just, you just can't. You Pokemon guys give me the confidence to talk to Target employees. That's, that's. That's wonderful. Caribou. Caribou. Oh yeah, I've, I've heard of her. But, uh... That's about it. I just know she exists. And uh, Pokemon. But it's okay. Maybe she's just the queen of a different realm of Pokemon. How much water do you drink during the day? Good question. I wonder how much water content there could be in lemonade. I don't know if there's any. I don't know how to, if they'd like even have that. It's got carbs in it. It's got a lot of added sugars. Oh yeah, yeah. See, it's mostly made out of filtered water. So, probably at least like, I don't know, maybe like a few hundred calories worth. I'm the queen of the Pokenor. <laughs> right, I will, uh, I'll take that. Yes, there is water in lemonade. So there, there, I should, uh, I get plenty of water probably. I mean, I'm pretty sure Sprite is just carbonated water. So whenever I drink that, it's like, that's mostly water too. So yeah, see, I'm, I'm good. I, uh, I drink water. I'll, I'll do some right now. Mmm. Water, but with a lovely lemony twist. It's sugar water! Come on! <laughs> yes, it is sugar water. But I probably need the sugar anyway. Sugar, like, gives you energy. Yes. Yeah, so it's, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, I'm going to check for orders again. Do, do, do. Dang, still doesn't look like we've gotten any. 
Did I seriously spell Steam Siege wrong again? I don't know why, but in my brain it's just like E before I, because that's totally the rule. I don't know, I just ignore the rule because it's wrong like half of the time, but. Ah! Like, I just do it without even, like, thinking. Like, there's no question. My brain is just like, this is how you write. And I'm like, what? I'm already done. It's like, okay, cool. Clearly, I cannot... S I cannot spell siege. I just... I just can't. At all, apparently. But there we go. Now it's just really sloppy looking. It's fine. I'm sure people can tell what it is. And if they can't, well, then, uh... That is unfortunate. But you know, maybe if they can't, they'll be more interested in buying it because they're like, oh, what is this? And I'll be like, oh, it's Steam Seed. And I'll just be like, yay, we're going to open Steam Seed. And everybody will just be like, yeah, that's only you, Zell. You're all on your own. Nobody else wants to open that. And I'll just be like, well, I'm having fun. And then people will be like, oh, she's having fun. And then somebody else will still be like, yeah, but I still don't like it. And I'll be like, well, it is your law. <laughs> I still really want to like pull the guard of wires in it. I kind of like bought them, but I'd really rather like pull them from a pack. And plus, then they'd be in like perfect mint condition, which is so much cooler than the weird condition that you get them in buying them secondhand. You never know what you're gonna get. Ever. It's a mystery. It's a wonder. It's a surprise. Sometimes you look at something and you're like, oh, that looks perfect. And then you get it and you buy it and you take it home and you're just like, Wait a second, this is, this is, this is not right. Then you gotta just deal with it. Alright, it was nice having you, Kyle. Sleep well. Hope to see you again soon. And then check for orders again, even though it's only been like a minute. Just cause I just, uh, wanna open my Pokemon. A lot. I've actually been pretty slow tonight. If we don't get more orders within maybe the next eight minutes, I'll probably just finish and call it a night because I could use the sleep. I'm not gonna lie. But if people decide they want to open stuff, I am more than happy to uh, assist. Because I have so many beautiful things to open. Hey, right, is this. Oh, oh, look at that. I think that was a notification for an order. I love it when I catch that on my phone. Oh, nice! Charles wants two mystery packs for Kyle and two mystery packs for himself. I like it, I like it! More mystery packs! Yay! Alright. So first we got two for Kyle and then two for Charles. Let's see what's inside. Let's see if I can uh, get it open first off. And then there we go. Alright, we got a Venonat, Joltik, oh, it's Vaporeon, and sleeved up we have, it's a double, oh yes, double. Now for mystery pack number two. Let's get something even cooler, please. Oh my goodness, sometimes I make these so hard to open. <laughs> there we go. Aha. There we are. Oh, we got Zoru and Axu and Beedrill. And what do we have back here? We have a Tropius Reverse and a Blissey. You gotta love Blissey. Beautiful. So uh, congrats on those, Kyle. And thank you, Charles, for being so thoughtful. There are those. I will get those with Kyle's stuff. See, where is his stuff? This is a good question. Maybe it's over here. Do, do, do. So many little names on sticky notes. It must be in one of these ones then. Hmm. Oh, I 
can almost find it. Shouldn't be that difficult to find. But clearly I'm struggling. So until I figure out where the rest of the pile is, I will just make a new one. Like, I, I know it's there somewhere, but it's just too tiring to try to find it right now, I guess. There we go. And now we can get on to the packs for Charles. Yeah, there we go. Two beautiful packs. Let's give that open. In the first pack we have Crudant, Manaphy, there's an Arcanine, the Wolf, and a Psyduck. Look how pretty. I love the art on that one. Right, and now for the second one. There we are. We've got a Magnemite. <gasps> Pikachu! Yamper. Another Pikachu! <laughs> we have a Holofoil Energy. I'll make sure to sleeve that one up. And it looks very Holofoil. That was definitely a uh, electricity themed pack. <laughs> I must have made more of those than I realized that were like type themed. Hey, you know, nothing wrong with the. Uh, double Pikachus. They're all those, and I'll get those with the rest of your stuff. Let's see. Oh, hi Blazer. Sent me an email. I think I saw it, but I haven't had a chance to check my email since earlier today. I've been very busy, but I will check that after the stream or in the morning, depending on whether or not I die immediately after the stream. <laughs> So we, we will see. But anyways, that sounds fantastic. I'm very excited. So yes, I'll try to uh, check you the email as soon as I can without dying of exhaustion. <laughs> yes, got a lot of hollow energies. I, I'm, I'm worried that one day I'm gonna like run out and not being able, be able to put them in mystery packs anymore. For now though, I shall just enjoy it. Hey there, is there any evolutions laying around? Um, not that I can think of that the only evolutions I have today were things that I'm saving for myself because I stole some stuff out of my own stash and ended up selling them, but let me see if there's by chance, like, any others. Look through my- ooh, got knocked all my code cards over. But I'll check in case there is, like, one extra, because sometimes- there could be. Um, does not appear to be the case. Ah, I didn't end up dropping the code card. Where did I put it? Alright, well, since I dropped it, I guess I'll just show it off. There's that. Skip, skip. Oops. I don't even know what happened there, and I'm not gonna try to. <laughs> Ooh, that'll be exciting. Since I, I mean, I literally only have one tops card. I feel like that can't not be exciting. <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately, my evolutions stream has ceased. Because the place that I was getting them from, they're like, they don't have any more. And I'm like, what do you mean? I need more. But they might restock within like the next week. But at the same time, they might just not. So... Well, see, I'll keep, I'll call them like every day until they have something or until I give up, which would take like five to six more days. So I've already called them like two days and they're like, no, they don't have stuff. And I was like, well, that's sad. I mean, I know I bought the last of their stuff like a couple of days ago, but you know, <laughs> you only had one whole energy. I, some of the, uh, stuff that I bought, like, secondhand, I got a bunch of them, and then while I was opening Champion's Path, I got a ton, and of course I got some from Evolutions and Hidden Fates, 
And so I just kind of accumulated a little bit of a collection of them. And then I got a bunch of, like, grass and psychic ones from somewhere. I don't actually even remember where. Like, I, I try to, like, look back and be like, where did I even get those? It might have been, like, one of the things I got for Christmas. Two packs of evolution. Always keep a sold pack. Yeah. I, uh, I keep sold stuff, but it's always just to open later. <laughs> Yeah, that's the only the only two things of evolutions I have right now. There's one is for when I get to a thousand subs, and one is for when I get to fifteen hundred. And uh, I really gotta stop stealing from my stash. So, Does GameStop have chilling rain uh, pre-orders open already. Uh, mine didn't mention anything about that, and I went to one of them today. Is it two? No, I don't. I think I just went to one. Hold on, I tried to call, just didn't answer. There's straight up tips. They had pre-orders today. I'll have to go check tomorrow then. I'll call and be like, yo, so, got any pre-orders for Chilling Rain by chance? And they'll either be like, uh, no, not yet. Or they'll be like, yes, we actually do. And I'll be like, yes, 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 yes. And then I'll zoom, zoom, speedy over there and be like, all right, here's my deposit. I look forward to getting the product. You know, that reminds me. I'm pretty sure I still am owed a build and battle deck of battle styles. Oh, online. Oh. Well, I don't check online. I mean, I would imagine they're already gone, but, uh. I should, uh. Like, actually remember that checking online exists. Because. I just don't. I don't really remember that usually. Because, uh, I don't know. I prefer shopping in store, not online. The only reason I use my phone is because... Because sometimes I want to call places and see if they have stuff. Oh, how curious. Blister packs. Interesting. I definitely want like as many as I possibly can get a hold of since I thought I bought enough battle styles to last me for a while but like it did not really last that long so yeah I definitely will make sure to get even more chilling rain cuz I know that there will be a demand for it Ah, I can't spell at all. Did you happen to ship today? I, let's see, I got some stuff ready to ship today, but I don't think I actually got anything sent out today. Just ready. Oh yeah. I don't know if they have any left, but I do see that they pre-order. Twin Chill Chilling Rain Booster Pack. Spicy. I like it. I wonder if they have like, I wonder, how many can you pre-order? I think it's usually like five, or at least at the stores that's what the limit is. But uh, Sounds kind of exciting. I wonder how, how many will <laughs> let me get online. This is, won't let me go past five. No, it's like, no, fam, you can't. How sad. Interesting, interesting. I'll definitely have to make sure to remember to check that out later. 20 by 5, yeah. Maybe I'll be like, hey, mom, can you get on your account? Or, I mean, can you make an account and get me some off game stuff? Because the game's got a stop account. It's my personal one because I'm just cool. Also reminds me, I have a bunch of rewards for game snop, snop, wow, game stop that I need to redeem. I just keep forgetting because it's confusing to do it on my phone. And so then I just ignore it. <laughs> confusing things get ignored. It's just what happens. I can't help it. You just, it just, uh, it just is. I definitely gotta keep 
like remember to look more often at pre-orders online and stuff for like anything because like pre-orders really do be kind of nice Alright, well I've got that set up on another page, so I will remember to do that later. When I can find my card and stuff and be like, alright, now give it to me. When it comes out in like a couple months. Alright, I'm gonna check for orders again, because I want to open more cards. Do, 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 do. No more, no more orders yet. So I'll give it like another five minutes, see if we get anything within that time. Otherwise we shall just finish off with a very short stream, which is what happens sometimes and it's okay. I probably won't stream tomorrow, but I say that like every week and still end up doing it on Saturdays. So I literally have no idea if I'll stream tomorrow. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, I guess not. Jenny Star V might come tomorrow though, so it makes it very tempting, I must say. So we will see what I decide on that. Which I currently have literally no idea what I'll decide on that. It could be anything. Any auctions? Uh, I do have some things I could auction off, but I didn't- I haven't had much interest in any of them. Yeah. I still have Dapper Tangla. I have Sophocles, Zorak, and Team Magma's Claydol Holofoil. So yeah, those are all the things that I currently have that I can auction off, but I actually have to find people that wanted to, and I don't mean, I, I don't even know if anybody wants these cards right now. I think they're cool cards, but I don't know if people want to do an auction for them. And so I keep making everything wobble. I just randomly decided to uh, put, put my feet on my chair because I can. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm getting very tired. I mean, I already was, but now I'm just yelling more. Just gonna take a drink. Because I can. No, I'm not going to auction off my houndoon. I can't. First off, Puffy would kill me. Second off, it's just kind of heckin' cool and it's the only one I have. But, if you want a chance to get your old golden houndoon, I do have... 11 packs of battle styles on the board, so you never know what could be inside of those. <laughs> so if you want to try your, your luck, you could do that. Got a lot of stuff on the board tonight. I was kind of impressed by how much more I was able to add after almost running out last night. But then the night we had made like six sets left. It was not very many. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. So tired. Ooh, all right. We just got an order for Mike, four battle styles, and a shining face. I like it. So there it is. Four makes it seven. See, see, I, 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 I know what was up. And a shining face. Where is it? Aha. He'd rather buy mine! Well, you can't. I'm sorry. It's not for sale. It's my houndoon. It was my golden doggy baby. I'm sorry. If I pull another one, then maybe. But this one's mine. It's, it's just... It's just a matter of fact. <laughs> Alright. Let's get these. Three, four. And a bag of shining fates. Right. There we go. Let's get you something good. See, I need my scissors. I can't set them to the side because I need to use those. And I don't know what you want me to do with code cards. So for now, I'll just set those on my desk. 
All right, we're starting off with a Psychic Energy, Perugly, Kruni's Focus, Tower of Waters, Scatterbug, Houndor, Frillish, Silicobra, Glamiel, Camping Gear Reverse, and Galarian Slowbro. I love Galarian Slowbro. What an absolutely delightful, delightful card. All right, snip. Whoosh. One, two, three, four. All right, we have a grass type energy. Fero, Carnivine, Escape Bro, Ponyard, Houndor, Shinx, Gligar, Splink, Eggless Slash Reverse Rail. Make sure to sleeve that up. And a Primeape. Let's see, there it is. Yes, let's get some good pulls. Yes, I did hear that Bose is getting out of ripping ships, and I was just like, no! You're my role model! Don't quit! But, I mean, he did say he might get back into it later. So I'm hoping that things will improve. I'm so I can keep doing that and keep being my streaming buddy. Because, I mean, even if we don't get to talk or hang out on his other streams as much, it's still fun to kind of, like, have, like, you know, a stream buddy. But he was the one that really encouraged me to start doing my streams. And so... Kind of like having him like leaving, it's like, oh. But I'll definitely make sure to be at his stream tomorrow. For at least a little while. Depending on whether or not I stream will be how long. I watch his probably. Alright. We got a lightning energy. Girder. Cacturn. Level Ball. Solandin. Rolly Coley. Esper. Shinx. Blitbug. Girder Reverse. And... Nice! Level Ball. Secret Wrap. Gorgeous. Let's get that into a sleeve. And then into a top loader because we can. Who's Bose? Uh, Ted Bose, he's another Pokemon channel here on YouTube. He was actually the one that inspired me to get into Rip and Ships. He's done them himself. And um, I expressed interest in it and he was super encouraging and gave me some pointers. And so like that's what made me decide like, you know what, I'm going to go for it. So, if it wasn't for Bose, I probably would not be sitting here opening card packs for y'all right now. I would... I have absolutely no idea what I would be doing, to be honest. But yeah, he is, uh... Probably just temporarily, but for at least a while, not doing Rip and Chips anymore. Which is kind of sad. Got a Grumpig, Energy Recycler, Girder, Cubone, Frillish, Blitbug, Rolly Coley. Chimeco, Bishop Reverse, and a Steelix Holofoil. All right, and now we get to move on to Shiny Fates. I love Shiny Fates. Absolutely delightful set, in my opinion. Slip. Oh, well, uh, that code card was ready to be seen. Skill scribble. Whoosh! Ah, did not get to the dress. Alright, now I want to see a shiny, please. Alright, we got a Fighting Energy, Gym Trainer, Tropius, Lotzel, Eevee, Cubant, Cacnea, Nicket, Spuzel. I'm not sure about that. Excuse me? I didn't talk to you. I recently, uh, my little sister gave me her Alexa. I don't know, it was like Cacnea or something. I don't know. I don't know why she thought I was talking to her. All right, we got Boozle, Rusted Shield Reverse, and in DDV. All right, not shiny, but not bad. Let me get that sleeved up. Overall, I would say that was pretty good. Sadly, no Skyla, but one of these days. Right, there are your pulls. I'll get those. I think I, I don't know if I started your new pile since I sent your stuff out. Let me check. It seems like I maybe did. Do, do, do. Let me see. Mm -hmm. oh, da, 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 da. Maybe not. If so, I'll just add them together sometime. But now I'll just make a new one. 
You ever loved anyone? So, I have no intentions of leaving, at least anytime soon. So that's for now. This is hopefully a long-term thing. As long as I can continue finding stuff and, uh... Yeah, probably will be mostly just that and don't, like, get tire myself out too much. But honestly, I'm already too tired, so there's, a. Uh, we should be good. We should be good. I don't think I will be, uh, done anytime soon. But I mean, like, one day I might, like, turn 90 and be like, Yo, I can't, I can't keep opening these packs for you. My hands are shaking too much. So maybe at that point I would finish, but, uh, for now I think we're set. Also, I gotta stop bumping my camera. Right? So there we go. Thank you very much for that order, and I hope you enjoy your cards. <laughs> Alexa haunted. Hey Alexa, are you haunted? No. <laughs> well, there you go. She is not haunted, y'all. It's okay. Alexa is just fine, apparently. I'm keeping it real because it's National Unicorn Day. <laughs> I wonder if they like unicorn jokes. That's real nice. <laughs> what? Are you... Oh, that was great. Oh, thanks, Alexa. It was real, real delightful. <laughs> it's apparently it's National Unicorn Day. Uh, so congrats uh, to all the unicorns. Like, woo! Also, I'm just squishing my frog pen because I can. All right, it was nice having you, Charmando. Have a nice sleep. Hope to see you again soon. Alright, check in if there are any more orders. Contemplating placing one more order. Do it, do it, do it. I wanna open more stunts. <laughs> There's a unicorn in the chat. So, I, I didn't really know there was such thing as a National Unicorn Day, and I definitely imagined, never imagined this is how I would find out about it. By asking my Alexa if she's haunted. Curious. How curious. <laughs> I guess you learn something new every day. Today I learned that one, my Alexa is not haunted. And two, it's National Unicorn Day and Alexa just needed to let me know. So uh, I feel thoroughly enlightened. Or something like that. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna check orders again. Just because I want to, because I can, and all that stuff. I'm just vibing. Oh, I'm being sleepy. I'm very good at that. And the stickers are still on the face. <laughs> we're just, we're just chilling. Dang, we're at 22 viewers. It's crazy, oh, like, co consistently being, like, in the 20s of years. Like, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. No one's talking, but knowing that they're here. Yes, yeah, National Unicorn Day. Hey, Alexa. When was National Unicorn Day invented? Here's something I found on the web. According to Feedroom.com, Although National Unicorn Day is just one day amongst a wash of national marketing days that brands tap into throughout the year since it launched in 2008, it has gained in precedence each year. Gained in precedence each year? <laughs> well, I guess since 2008, we've had a unicorn day. But I don't know if it means like, like today, today, or like today after midnight day. <laughs> he came to send another order. How relatable. How Beautifully relatable, but I'm excited, so hopefully we get to get you some good stuff. I never heard that type of thing. Ooh, five shining fates. Very, very exciting. Alright, let's do it. Get those from back here. Those beautiful packs. Hopefully full of all kinds of wonders and treasures. Well, I guess all of these are just backwards. Or at least those two are. I, I mean, that doesn't say anything for the rest, because 
I don't actually know which one of which is these are more. <laughs> I'm hoping by next week I'll have more, but I have not had any time to paint this week. I have been insanely busy, like literally nonstop. And any of the times that I stop, I just like crash. I'm like, I can't do anything else. And then I like lay on the floor, which is uncomfortable, but I keep doing it. I don't know. I don't know. But hopefully I'll try and find some time to paint tomorrow and maybe by Monday, but no promises. <laughs> All right, let's get into these packs for you, Mike. We got a Lightning Energy, Gym Trainer, Eldegoss, Dietrix, Eevee, Toodle, Cacnea, Gossiflor, Smogon, Ooh, Reshiram Amazing Rare, and a Celebi. Let's get that beautiful Reshiram sleeved up. Hey, sounds like a pretty vibey idea to me, Kristen. We've got all kinds of fancy stuff to open. I do believe I have your stuff. It should be able to be sent out tomorrow. I just didn't have time to get it sent out today because by the time I had it ready, I was like, the post office had closed like four hours ago. Because <laughs> so apparently post offices close like around the time I have dinner. And I eat dinner early. <laughs> Banks are the same. So weird to me. I'm like, I just want to go to the bank at 7 o'clock at night. Is that is that such a bad thing to ask for? Because apparently it's not a thing. But at least I know how to use the ATM now. It was actually really easy to figure out. It was just like, okay, let the ATM eat my card. Tell it what I want. And gives it to me. And then it uneats my card. It's, uh, it's pretty chill. Alright, we got Lightning Energy, Luxio, Rust Sword, there's a Floatzel there, Eevee, Nicket, Morpeko, Rallet, Spinarak. Ooh, I can't say I've seen that one yet. We got a Suicune Reverse and a Manaphy to finish it off. Alright, alright, these have been pretty spicy so far. Let's see if we can keep it up. Get some more exciting stuff. Alright. Snip. There's that kick out. There's a lovely scribble on it. There's a whoosh. Let's see if we can get another shiny. Maybe a VMAX shiny. We're gonna start off with the grass type energy. Floatzel, Team Yeltel, Gym Trainer, Gossifleur, Nicket, Chapinch, Yanma, Boozle, Gossifleur Reverse, and a Celebi. Well, I guess it's fair after those two spicy packs to get one that's just like... <laughs> Big hit! Yes! Gorgeous Suicune. See if we can get more spicy stuff. Scribble, scribble. A 50 card? As soon as I finish this pack, I'll get that right and do a top loader for ya! <laughs> Dang! I, I assumed it was like a pretty decent card, but I didn't want that much. Right, here we got a water energy. Whoa, there's a Rotom that I just threw. Tropius, Thwacky, Gossifleur, Eevee, Nicket, Morpeko, Rallet, Thwacky Reverse, and a Yamega. Oh, they're kind of mad one. But uh, let's get that sweet kid into a top loader. Snip, snip, snip. Gorgeous. Like, absolutely gorgeous. Alright, and one more pack. Makes it all worth it. Well, hey, that's pretty solid. I mean, we got you the rush around too, and let's see if we can get anything in this last pack. You know, a little last pack magic. Come on, come on, come on. All right, starting off with the metal energy. Luxio, Rusted Sword, Rotom, Rallet, Shinx, Trappage. Whoop, there's a Yanma, Boozle, Yanma Reverse, and it bosses orders. All right, well... I mean, we still got that Suicune and a Reshiram. So I'd say overall that was a success. Or maybe a success. <laughs> that, was, that was a terrible pun, but... <laughs> Alright, there is all of that. Congrats on those exciting pulls. And I'll get that with the rest of your stuff. Right, so I'm going to order tonight and you can start with the stuff tomorrow. Alright, sounds good. Unless my mom has already put it into the uh, package, which I don't think she has because she probably went to sleep. I should be good to uh, put that 
in there. Oh, I like to refresh. Yeah, it's such a stunning sweet can. Right, looks like the order has not come through yet. So, so, see, I'm such a comedian. Uh, if Pokemon doesn't work out for me, I should certainly go into a comedy field. <laughs> no, no, that 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 field would uh, eat me alive. I'd be like, people are all so scary. What do I do? What do I say? I just think I'll run away. I get all the chili peppers and fire. Very nice, very nice. I'm gonna get me a drink, cause I'm thirsty. Ooh, a bunch of diamonds, too. Nice. I almost, like, set it on the edge so it was gonna fall, and I was like, wait, no, don't do that. That was not my intention. It is not ideal to drop you on the floor. We'll drop you anywhere, just to sit there and chill. <laughs> oh. The exhaustion is real. Very real. That's fine, because it's always real. Constantly real. I wake up tired. I'm tired. And I go to sleep tired. But I'm like a pro at being tired now. Like, I'm so effective. Yeah, I have, I think that's the first time I've ever pulled the Suicune, and I've opened packs tons for myself and tons for other people. And that was the first one, so it's very exciting. Like, if you think about it, that's the first Suicune I've pulled. But I've ended up with three Zards. Or I guess two and two halves. But we're just gonna go with the number three. <laughs> we got three Zards before it's weekend. So, should the Suicune be worth more? So curious. <laughs> Honestly though, it is such a gorgeous card. I, I love the uh, legendary dogs that are actually kind of like cats, but they're mostly just mysterious, but they're beautiful confusing but they're cool so it's fine <laughs> Suikun and Tei and Raikou Suikun is probably my favorite and then Raikou and then Entei reasoning being I don't know I just vibe that way <laughs> I, uh, I like Raikou because that's the first amazing rat I ever pulled was a Raikou and also because just I don't know I like it but then Suikun is just like so elegant and I like that it's water type, because, yeah. This, this feels like good enough reasoning. Just a pretty Pokemon. I like pretty Pokemon. And cute ones. And silly ones. And dragon ones. Especially the dragon ones. That reminds me. I uh, was looking on Amazon at, like, earrings and things today. And I saw this really cool earring that was, like, more like a cuff. Like, the little thing right here that, like... You know, comes on and off. So now I got my hair stuck in it, so I have to put it back on. But it was basically just like this dragon that would like, you know, it would like perch around your ear. Like, you know, its tail would be down here and then it would like loop around and have its like head here. And like it was supposed to it looks so cool. And I'm like, I want a dragon on my ear. Is Entei and Shining Fates? I don't know. That was supposed to be smooth, but what I was trying to say is, but I can find out. So let's uh, consult the book of things and stuff. So Raikou is electricity type, and there is no regular card of him, but we shall check the shines. Alright, so. Rotom, Yamper, Bulltown, Toxel. Dextricity, Pinkerchin, Murpago, Drexult, and Arctzult. I do not see a Raikou. So unless he's like some other type for some wickety wackety reason. Wait, no. No, that's... I'm thinking Raikou. Yes, Entei. Excuse me for being stupid. Let's go to the fighting type. We have Farfetch'd, Surfetch'd, Yamask, Rolicoli, Carcal, Colossal, 
So the Cobra is Sendicon, the Clubba is Grablock, Flinks, and Stungeoner. So it looks like Suicune is the only of the three in this set. How curious. I wonder why they would choose just Suicune. I mean, Suicune is pretty cool, but it's interesting. Very interesting. But yeah, so that answers that question. Can't tell you why. But it's a no. <laughs> There's a Suicune. Poor Entei and Raikun just... Raikun. Wow! Raikun. Just get left out. My poor guys. Poor, poor. Poor fellas. I also got some uh, code cards on my desk. Oh, Entei's fire type. I'm sorry, I don't know how any of this works. I need to check out the ones you have. Because I have it in a binder instead. <laughs> and honestly, I didn't even realize I had check marks on them. But I literally have like 15 of these booklets. They're just everywhere. It'd be kind of hard to keep track of just one to mark stuff off in. But I can mark everything off in the base set. Like, not the shinies. Except for Cinderace VMAX, I think. And then the Bird Keeper. Carlos and Bros full art trainers. I have everything else. Shiny so I have a lot more to get. Yeah, it would be cool if Entei was in it. They actually barely have any fire types. Score Bunny, Raboot, Cinderace, Sizzlebeat, Sense Scorch. Just five. Whereas most types, like grass type, there's a lot. Like that's seven. That's fourteen from grass type. It's like four, eight, twelve. 16, 18 from water type, get 9 from electricity, Let's see, 16 from psychic, 13 from fighting, 10 from darkness, 7 from metal, and then... And 12 from Colorless. And that's not including the V's and V-Maxes. Because they're kind of like their own thing. So it's interesting. Yeah, the fire type are not many. But in terms of, uh... The V's and V-Maxes, there's Charizard, Sand Scorch V, Sand Scorch V-Max. And I think those are all the fire types. Yes. So there are not a ton of shiny fire types. Like, eight? I don't know. I think that's what I counted. I think it was eight. But I'm not sure. I wasn't really uh, working that hard to keep track. <laughs> Alright, I'm checking for orders real quick. Looks like no more yet. So I'll give it just a little bit longer. But it's been pretty slow tonight. So I'll probably just end sooner rather than later. Also, I'm popping bubble wrap. Don't mind me. I'm not having a hard time popping it, though. I just need to pick it up. And then it's easier. Yes. Why is bubble wrap so delightful? It's just one of those things. I'm having a hard time popping it. I'm struggling. Cinder is shining. Yeah, that would be cool to get. I mean, really, any of the shinies would like. They're all really cool. I don't know which shinies I want most right now. I just have a ton of baby shinies. I still need a few of the big ones, but there's so many babies left to find. They're like a bajillion, all the babies. It's kind of great though. But uh, yeah, <laughs> shinies are just generally fun. I hope that one day I can complete my Shining Fates set. I would do some like bit of work. Like I said, I've got most of the normal cards. I just mostly need Shinies and then the Cinderace VMAX. Then I'd be done. I just need like a really, really large number of baby Shinies. I'd have to open a ton of packs. I bet I'd pull like three more Zards before I ever finish my baby Shiny collection. <laughs> like that's Honestly, what I think. Because <laughs> I, I would have to open a lot of packs to get all the baby shinies I need. 
Alright, checking for orders again. Probably give it like five more minutes before I just wrap up because I could use more sleep tonight. I really could. I mean, it's not like I don't get much sleep. It's just I always need more. Rebel Cindy's Phoenix from Rebel Clash. Ooh, that's nice. I really like Rebel Clash. I don't think I pulled Cinderace out of it, though. It's hard to remember everything I pulled out of it, though. I know I've got, like, Intellian V and Intellian V full art, and I really like those. I know I got at least the Melodic V regular. I don't know if I got the full art. I can't remember. I think I might have just pulled the full art for someone else. Can't really remember much of my other stuff from Mobile Clash, but I've definitely got some good pulls from it. My gosh, why is bubble wrap so delightful? Like, I'm just sitting here like, pop, pop, pop. I hope it's not like annoying because I am personally very much enjoying just popping the bubble wrap. Oh, this one does not want to pop. There we go, I got it. I beat the bubble. <laughs> Man, this stuff is so delightful. Oh yes, support is always very much appreciated. Likes are fantastic. Subscribing is a very easy to is even more fantastic though. I'm currently working towards 700 subs. I got some very exciting stuff to open when I get there, including a fast flash flash fire pack. That's what I was trying to say. Nothing about fascism, I promise. Just flash fire. Which is really exciting though, because I've never opened something like that. Like I've never never opened flash fire. So I'm very excited to keep bumping my dust. It's very bumpable. Bumpable bumpable bumpable. Bump. <laughs> and I'm very good at bumping things. What boss's orders? Oh, I actually got that a little while back. It is a very slick card. I remember I was just like randomly was like, I'm opening a pack of this. And I was just like, nice. It's a very slick card, I must say. I, I cannot blame you for wanting it. I didn't actually know about it until I pulled it. And when I pulled it, I was just like, I like this. <laughs> it's a lovely card. I don't really think I have my uh, Rebel Clash in the, my binder yet. Like, I know I have my Shining Fates in there, mostly, but I don't think I have, like, let's see. I don't have Sword and Shield Face, Darkness Ablaze, maybe Darkness Ablaze. I actually don't know what I think I do, but I don't think I have Rebel, 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 Vivid, or Champion's Path. Or Battle Styles, of course, because that's fairly new. I kind of want to open a pack of Battle Styles. And I shouldn't open more stuff for myself. But I want to. I'm sorely tempted. Just in case. But at the same time, if I open a pack for myself, I'd also just kind of want to do Shining Fates. Because that's like my favorite set. There's just too many good choices. Too many good packs. Too much fun. How much for the Buzz Disorders? Um, is not for sale. I only like to sell cards I have duplicates of. Except for like the ones that I just specifically bought to sold. The only reason I got to enjoy those at all is because I bought them to sell them. But the, the boss's orders is mine. I really like it. Flirt trainers are like my favorite. Flirt trainers and tag teams. Just mm, good stuff. And anything with Arceus, of course. Since I very much love Arceus. Alright, I'm gonna check for orders again. Fresh, fresh, fresh. All right, I see Christian's order. Two Hidden Faints and two Darkness of Blaze. I like it, I like it. Let's hopefully continue. We've gotten some pretty awesome stuff from Hidden Fates lately, so hopefully we keep getting some. Um, two is a really ugly looking two. Um, two Darkness of Blaze. Right. Darkness of Blaze is here, and that is all of it, so. I'll just nicely scribble it out. Do you have any cards you're willing to sell? Just like the ones that I was showing you. I got a little bit of a stack here. I'll show you guys after I, most of them I prefer to auction off, but I could just sell them. 
Flash fire for 50 bucks. I honestly don't know. <laughs> I was given my pack of flash fire. So I haven't really looked into much what it sells for. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe ask in the server. There's a lot more people there that probably know. I sadly am not the best at knowing the worth of, of packs. But I'm learning. I'm learning. Or at least older packs. More modern packs, I kind of have to know. Older packs, it's kind of just like. Hmm. <laughs> All right, let's see. Two hidden things right there. And two darkness blades right here. Right, there we go. Let's hopefully get you some good stuff, Christian. Snip. Throw that good card down there. One, two, three, four. Right, we got a fighting energy. Kabu, Simsage, Vanillish, Sinister, Phoebus, The Simeon, Fledgling, Wimpod, The Pansage Reverse, and Houndoom V. Alright, that is not a bad start. Average cost. Good to know. I will uh, try to remember that, but I uh, only sometimes remember things when I learn, but I, I always try to like, keep track of them so I can. Uh, be better at, you know, knowing about things, be able to answer questions, but I still have a lot to learn and not enough brain space. <laughs> There's so much stuff crammed in my brain. Alright, we got Psychic Energy, Simiseer, Laron, Old PC, Diglett, Squavit, Shelmet, Panpour, Teddy Ursa, Wigglytuff Reverse Rail, make sure to sleeve up, and a Hydreigon. Beautiful. Yes, negotiating is pretty snazzy. Every time people are like, hey, I got this stuff, you want it? And I'll be like, how much? And they'll give like a price and I'll be like, first off, ow. But then I don't, but I don't tell them, ow. I just am like, all right, would you accept this much? And usually they're like, yeah, sure. Sometimes they'll be like, how about like in the middle? Not for me, I used to get it and all these back. Oh, imagine. Oh, imagine. I wish. All right, time for some spicy invites. Hopefully get some good stuff from here. Love to see some full art shinies. Maybe gold card. Let's see what it has in store for us. There's a Graveler, Giovanni's Exile, Brock Script, Ekans, Smogon, Cubone, Geodude, Slowpoke. Let's see if this one is better. Hopefully it's a lot better. Wish. One, two, three, four. Four booster boxes worth of flash fire. Wow. That's insane. All right, we got a metal energy. Whoops, there's Brock's Peter City Gym, Giovanni's Exile, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Clefairy, Slowpunk, <gasps> Pikachu, I'll add that to your to keep pile. There's Charmander, Voltor, Misty's Determination Reverse, and a Butterfree. Well, at least that first pack, we got a beautiful Houndoom. The rest of the packs were just a little cold. I mean, there was a Pikachu though, which is nice. All right, I will get those set in a little baggie to bring upstairs, so I remember to get those with the rest of your stuff to send out tomorrow. Let's see if I can get this Ziploc bag open. Sitting on a gold mine. Dang, imagine having that much. Maybe I need to get in contact with this guy and be like, hey, so I heard you're selling flash fire. I like a lot of it. Well, I just so happen to want a lot of it. <laughs> Let's see. Where are my sticky notes? I keep losing them. I say as I drop them onto the floor. There we go. I got them. You're very welcome. I hope you enjoy that lovely houndoom. And let's see. There's my frog pen. There we go. And I'll set that on the edge of my desk so I remember. Oh, weird random floof. My hair is just having a party or something. <laughs> All right, let me uh, clean up my desk a little bit and then I'll check if we've got any more purchases. 
and make sleepy noises because I am tired. Because y'all are probably very used to that by now since I yawn like crazy on stream. Sell me something. All right. 36 times 40. That's a lot of money. Also, welcome, Miles. Nice to see ya. All right, all right. Let me show you some stuff I've got, Blazer. Let's see. I got a really messy pile, so I gotta, like... All right. This is the stuff in my pile. This is super duper unsorted, so let me just take a moment to peek through. I don't even remember, like, half of whatever is in here. Some pretty beautiful stuff, though, I must say. And a lot of it's kind of older, which makes me even more hesitant to part with it. But for the right price, I would consider. For some reason, a lot of these are not in sleeves. I guess it was just because I got them when I was on a sleeve shortage. But, uh, I should uh, have more than enough sleeves now. <laughs> Thank you. I am just vibing with my hair up here and the Pokemon stickers on my cheeks and we're just having a great time. They didn't fit the pull shines on Nakamai. You know that's that's a good idea. I should do that with the rest of my hidden fates. Has I been for two months? Dang. Right, um I have something of a pile. Let me let me show you what I've got in my pile. There's a lot of stuff though. I'll start out with just half of it because it's too much to hold all at once. Alright, so I got this cool masquerade reverse from Plasma. This is Shedinja. This gorgeous Team Aqua's muck. Victini! We got this gorgeous smog mug, which I'll probably just keep for myself. And another smog mug. There's a clay doll bag on. This gorgeous magic card. Boozle, Scun Tank, Shielda, Aaron, Hoisey, we have Cherubi, Ampy, Bagon, Radicate, Hoopa, Glade, Swalot, Gorbis, Pavilion, Eggleslash, whoop, there's a Golurk, Smeral, Smeral, and a Mulga. How about the gold helmet? I already told you that one's not for sale. What's on my face? Yes, there are Pokemon stickers. This side, wait, no, this side is Bulbasaur. This side is Mudkip. So yeah, <laughs> that is what is on my face. They've been there like all stream. All right, now here's the other stuff. I have Alistair, Chunkachu that I'm not sure I actually want to part with. Charizard and Breaks that I'm not actually sure I want to part with. This is Shaman, same thing. In Infernape, same thing. Zapdos, same thing. EVV Max, I could part with that one, though. Because I have more than one. This is another uh, clay doll. Zorark, Sothcles, Tangela, Megalucario, and Gengar Mimikyu. Those are all my things currently in my to sell slash trade slash who the heck knows what else pile. Oh, yeah, slash auction. So, <laughs> if any of those piqued your interest, you can let me know. But, no. The Gold Helm Doom is mine. This is my baby. Oh. Let me check for orders now. Looks like that is all for the time being. Oh. I'm just a little bit tired. That's all right. But so, like, uh, Blazer, are you more interested in, like, more recent stuff or, like, older stuff? Because as you can see, I have a little bit of the variety. I get the Gengar and Mimikyu. Alright, let me grab that. It's freaking gorgeous. It'd be hard to sell, but... I mean, just depending on... You can make an offer on it. And I'll let you know what I think. And I'll also check for orders. First Pokemon movie. I need to watch like all of the Pokemon movies. I've only watched Destiny Deoxys. And so that leaves a lot more left open. That's 
fun though. I bet it was absolutely amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna this tire I'm gonna keep saying that. It's probably kinda annoying. I also got a random code card to give away, so there's that. Scribble scribble. Whoosh! Oh, it almost got in the trash can. Oh, I just love Mew. Mew is just so amazing. We need more Mews. Like all of the Mews. <laughs> just Mew's amazing. Just amazing. I should find my Mew pen to show off. Because it's super cute. I mean like it's Mew, so of course it's cute. My mom has uh, just recently gotten into collecting Pokemon pins, so when she helps me with a bunch of stuff, I'll pay her with my duplicate pins. Only problem is I don't have that many duplicates, and I was like, I don't have extras of these, so I can't give you all of them. But it's been kind of fun, like, you know, enjoying collecting them on myself, and then also, like, giving some to my mom. It's very fun, and she loves it. She, uh, she got, like, all of her old Disneyland pins out and has them on, uh pin board so yeah it's pretty fun yeah I'm not really certain how much is going for what did I have for dinner I had breakfast for dinner <laughs> I ate some pancakes some sausage things and some really weird scrambled eggs what pins am I missing a lot <laughs> well, I mean let me uh, see where my thing with pins in it this one no here? No. So this one? It would be this one. Have I ever pulled a Charizard and in and Rainbow and Cosmo? No, I have never pulled a Charizard and breaks in. Ooh, I don't know if I can part with the Infernape. I really love my level X cards. I might just have to keep that one for now because, yeah, I don't know if I can part with it, but I guess it just depends on the offer. But yeah, no, I have not char pulled the Charizard and breaks in. This one's just a, a promo, I think, that I and I bought it. Yeah, it's a promo. All right, I'll, I'll show you guys my beautiful pins now. These are the ones that I have. See, there's my there's my Mew. Focus, focus. Beautiful. I also get this beautiful Umbreon. And Entei. So I have to tell like if it's focusing or not. <laughs> Ooh, and there's my Zashian. I love my Zashian. This Zashian is just amazing. Here is a Tapu Fiend. Well, this is Tapu Lele, excuse me. This one, this one is Tapu Fiend. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ooh, and I love this one, my Rayquaza. I also have a Tapu Bulu. Then we have Mr. Rhyme. Isn't he so cute? And we have an Espeon. The pretty. And we got Raikou. Pretty spicy boy. We have Mewtwo. The fancy. <laughs> Little score bunny. No, that's not really focusing very well. Of course, you can't uh, complete a pink collection without a Pikachu. We also have, here's a Suicune. Very beautiful. I also have this Suicune. Love those. And the cute little Kangas con pin. I love this one so much. No, I have not pulled the Charizard and I have some unbroken bonds either. Or here's my Eternatus. We've got, oh, here's Mega Gengar. Whoops, I'm dropping it. Here's this Articuno that I literally bought like a three pack of cards just to get this Articuno. Cause I wanted, I was like, I need that Articuno. So yeah. Then I got Bunnelby. Here is Zorark. Dene! I freaking love Dedene. See this one? Oh, it's another King is Khan one. I have to remember I have extra of that so they can trade with my mom. Or I guess pay my mom with them. 
Here's a sizer. Look at this mint. <laughs> and we got a poltergeist. And here's one of my like absolute favorites. Oh yes, I love my pins so much. I actually got given a few of them from another Poketuber, Epic Tube. I uh I had one a giveaway from them and it took them a really long time to get everything ready to send out. And so as like an apology, they sent me extra stuff. But they sent me a lot of extra stuff. And it included a few of the really cute pins. It was actually like the Mew, the Mewtwo, I think the Pikachu, Eternatus, and it seems like there was one other, but I can't remember. But other than that, I just love, I love buying things that have pins in them. But here's one of my favorites. It's the baby. Clever to get be an Iggly buff. I love it. I also have a few more back here that I haven't had a chance to put in there. Oh no, try to don't fall over. Alright, prepare for even more cuteness. Look at the little Grookey! I love it. Then... We have Sobble! Absolutely don't. Do you have buttons? No. Not Pokemon buttons, at least. Let's see. I got a few of the Grookey, Sobble, and Score Bunny ones, so... I don't need to show y'all all, all the duplicates of those. I've got a... Look for the other ones that aren't these ones. Oh, there's another bottle of beer. Gotta remember I have a duplicate of that for my mom as well. Cause yeah, anything that is duplicate, I cannot pay my mom with. And there's also another poltergeist. They're so cute. I think that is all of them. No, you can't have my pins. Those are my beautiful pins. But if you do want any of these three, I do have extras that I could sell. We have Sobble, Griggy, and Score Bunny. Let's see if I can like get them all in between my fingers. There we go. So yeah, if you're interested in any of those, I do have extras that I can sell. They're freaking cute. I love them. All right, pins back into the Pokeball you go. Actually, I should just start keeping them in a normal tin because there's not really much room left in the Pokeball. Aha! They shall go into this Charizard tin. If you get Pokemon buttons, I'll send you one. That would be amazing. I would love Pokemon buttons. I get ready for a lad clink. Beautiful, huh? I'll just put the empty Pokeball back up for display. Oh, bumping stuff off my desk. Don't mind me. Beautiful. And I finished putting my pins back into this tin. Pins in the tin. Pin tin. Tin a pin. Beautiful. <laughs> yes, the three starters from Shirt and Shield. I have a few of those from some boxes that I bought a bunch of. They're so freaking cute. But yeah, those are the ones that I have the most duplicates of. I don't really have duplicates of very many of them at all. But these three, I do have enough duplicates of that I have that I could sell some. They're just so cute. Most car bunny. Focus. Focus, focus. There we go. And it goes Sobble. But of the three starters, this one's my favorite. Gurky, look at his sweet little baby eyes. Just an absolutely adorable pin. I love it. They're just so cute. Beautiful. I need to find something to like put them all on. That'd be so fun. Alright. Close. I got it closed. <laughs> Where should I put it? I will put it right there. Alright, now I probably should check for orders. If there aren't any, I'll probably finish up soon. Alright, none. So. Give the stream maybe five more minutes. 
because I buy a lot of stuff. I, I spend like thousands on Pokemon a week, so you kind of end up with some pin boxes here and there in order to uh, buy that much stuff. So it's just called extreme obsession and trying to make a career out of it. You end up with you end up with some pins, and it helps some people keep the pins. Most of them all, I just bought with things. You know, like the Suicune, Entei, and Raikou. I got those with the uh, GameStop Black Friday box thingy that came with them. I got the S. Beyond one, I think, with like a little like three pack or something like that. Got Umbreon with a like a GX box. Thousands. I spend way more money on Pokemon during more than probably like any normal kid my age spends at all in a week. I spend so much a week. But yeah, yeah, thousands a week. This is why I'm like in debt a lot, because I'm like, oh yeah, so uh, we spent just a little bit. <laughs> I, yeah, basically I spend a lot on Pokemon, so I go through a lot of products. And sometimes they have pins, and I love it when they have pins, because I love pins. Just gotta keep finding more things with pins. I haven't found a ton lately other than those, like Grookey, Sobble, and Score Bunny, though. I have gotten a couple Shining Fates pin things here and there. Sadly, I never got any of the Champion's Path pins. It was kind of like, huh. I didn't get any of them. Could not find them. Or at least not at a price that was even kind of reasonable. It was like, oh look, look at this $30 product. We'll sell it to you for 100 And I was like, how about no thanks? So yeah. None of those. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put these back over here. Make sure I'm understood back up. I don't know why he's standing in my wireless charger. I need this elsewhere. As in like in my purse. Alright, I'll check for orders. And then give it like two more minutes if they're none. Oh, yes, they're none. So I'll give it like two more minutes. See if we get any last second orders. Then probably call it a night. Because I'm tired and it's been slow. The slower it gets and the more tired I get, the more I'm like, what if I just like fall asleep on stream? I got my Pokemon cards and I want to do the Pokemon cards. That's how it's been since the beginning. I got into Pokemon cards June or July, I think. And maybe like a month in, my mom was like, you can't buy any more. You need to take a break. And I was like, but mom. She's like, nope, nope. I think like it started like a week, maybe. Like you can't buy any more Pokemon for a week. I'm not gonna lie, I made up excuses to leave the house and bought cards without her knowing. <laughs> so that was fun. But then later she kind of let me buy some more. And she actually bought me some. And then later on she was like, you can't buy any more again. And I was like, Arr. But then I started my channel and I bought a bunch. But then she was like, you still have stuff, don't buy more for your channel. But I'm like, what about my channel? But so that kind of continued until like, Maybe like November, but then in December I started thinking about doing rip and ships, so she was a little bit more open with me buying stuff. So I started buying some more, and then like January, February, and March, since I was doing rip and ships, she was more understanding, but she was still kind of just like, don't overspend. But now she, I mean, I guess like mostly in March and this month too, she supports it a lot more and lets me spend a lot. But every once in a while she'll be like, you gotta chill out, and I'm like but I can't. And then she helps me find more stuff and we're like, I don't even know. <laughs> and checking luck on one more Hidden Fates. Awesome. Mystery packs. Uh, yes, they are quite random. Generally they have three to six cards in them. They can have more or less though, depending on what they are. You won't get like a pack with like one common card though. It won't be like that bad. I always try to get it that a mixture of, you know, commons, uncommons and rares. But you can really get anything in there. Some packs have just no, nothing holofoil, but there's maybe like two in the pile. Like, they're not that many. 
most of them have at least reverse hollow foils, but then you can get regular hollow foils. You can get EX, GX, V, V Max. You can get shinies of any size. You can get full arts. I don't think there's any full art trainers currently, but possibly in the future. And you, I mean, like, you can get promo cards and all just kind of random stuff. Like, they're just really full of all kinds of surprises. And these ones are so fun. All right, let's do that Hidden Fates pack for you, Christian. Got that order. Got the beautiful bird's art. Hopefully this one will treat us better. Snip. Whoosh. One, two, three, four. All right, starting off with a water energy. We have Farfetch'd, Rex Pure City Gym. Whoops, there's a Chansey there. We got a gorgeous Magikarp. Staryu, Voltorb, <gasps> Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Ooh, that's gorgeous. We have an Altaria Shiny, oh my gosh, I love that. And an Eevee on the bowl behind it, that was way better. We should put Vintage in the Mystery Packs. Do I have any Vintage right now? Yeah, I don't know if there's any vintage in the mystery packs, but I do have vintage to add. I just haven't had the chance to yet. I need to sell more so that I can make more. Because I only have so many of my little packs to put them in. So once I sell more of these ones, I'll start putting in more and more of the vintage stuff that I've got. I don't have a ton of vintage, but I do have a few like really cool vintage things that I can throw in there here and there. So yeah, I definitely plan to... I just, I bought a lot of it more recently than I assembled these packs, so I just need a chance to sell some more of these, and then I'll get them in. Alright, there are your beautiful cards, Christian. I'll get those with the rest of your stuff to send out tomorrow. Yeah, everybody loves vintage, so I'm definitely down for putting vintage in my pack. I know some stores in my area sell singles of vintage, but they're usually like really overpriced and I'm just like, that's a, that's a, that's like a cheap coffin, but I guess you can sell it for $8. I'm not going to buy it for that much. Even though it's pretty and I'm tempted. Gym Challenger Gym Heroes. I wish I had like a bunch of extra Gym Challenger Gym Heroes. You sent for one mystery. I like it. Let's get you something good. Hopefully we'll get you one of my spicy packs. I'll, uh... Are you not too late? Nope, you're not too late. I'm still going. I just go until orders stop. In order to stop for a bit, so it's about to end, but now that orders are gone, I'm just fine to keep it going. We're all good in the hood. Alright, yes, I see it. Mystery pack. Got this beautiful one. Let's hopefully get you something snazzy. Alright, starting off with the Kalava. We have Vulpix. Skr Bunny. Lynn. Is this another one of my themed packs? And a Rowlet! I love it like fire, fire, fire. No. Finish off the grass type. But it is a relic from the McDonald's set. So I would say that's a pretty fun one right there. So congrats on that. I'll get that put with your other stuff. I don't know if I sent you stuff yet. I don't think, I don't remember. Let me, don't we, let me just look. That's the easiest way to tell. It just takes a minute because there are lots of stuff. This gets hard for me to remember in my brain who has sense to and who I have not. Let's see, check in this pile. This pile is a mess. Right. 
There we go. I think I got that sorted out now. Okay, sorry about that. This pot, this box here was just kind of confusing. She just move it in with my other boxes so I'll have one less box to look through. There we go. And there is your stuff. I'll get those in there. Yes. I always try to make the mystery packs fun. And I mean, it's pretty easy to get lucky with them. Ah, uh, that's sad that you haven't gotten any. I have a lot though, if you're interested in purchasing some. You can see I've got a lot of them in stock right now. Let's see. Alright, there we go. I feel like that is nicely reorganized. But yeah, it's definitely not hard to get really lucky with the mystery packs. Or at least I tried to make it that way. So in a lot of tops, you put some in those. Alright, yeah. That's actually a really good idea to make separate vintage ones. Because that will help sustain the cost a lot more. Since vintage definitely costs more to get a hold of and put in mystery packs. But, I mean, like, if people would be interested in, like, paying more i mean it depended on if they wanted like mystery packs with better stuff in them like if people would be willing to pay like ten dollars a mystery pack i could certainly buy some really nice stuff to put in them and you know make i feel like some great variety if people want to pay like 50 i can make some insane mystery packs <laughs> but i doubt anybody wants to spend 50 dollars on a a vintage mystery pack even though that'd be super cool all right, those are all of our orders for now. I'll take a drink. Yes, you're very welcome. Yeah, they're kind of just randomly sitting up there between the Sword and Shield and Rebel Clash. Very random spot, but uh... This is just where I ended up putting them. I was like, do do do, putting sets on, sword and shield, McDonald's. They're actually just because I usually keep them, they're actually in the same spot back here right now. Whoops, one on the desk. There's like the sword and shield and the McDonald's. And there's some cosmic clips in front of it, just because why not? Did I actually even put the cosmic on? I didn't put the cosmic clips on the board, did I? It's in the box right there, but I forgot. Play. You paid 20 for a spicy mystery pack. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write this down. And I will definitely look into that because there's a lot that I could do if people were interested in pricier mystery packs because, I mean, there are some great places to get singles nearby. Problem is they're just usually things that I can't afford to put in $5 mystery packs. But there's some seriously cool stuff that I could try and get a hold of. Super spicy stream. Alright, there we go. It's been written down. Ooh. That would be amazing. I, I, I'm i always accepting vintage. I, I mean, I don't think there's such thing as too much vintage cards. <laughs> I, I can... I definitely would not mind adding some to my own collection, but I definitely can share too. But like, also some from Lucas. <laughs> my vintage is pretty small, but I'm growing it little by little. I was getting cooler and cooler. Here's my little teeny binder. Well, now I'll have to put my vintage in a bigger binder. And that, that'll be a good day. That'll be a very good day. <laughs> you know, honestly though, I probably have a couple mystery packs right now or maybe like a few that are probably like worth more like like the contents of them are more like 10 to 15 dollar worth of stuff so there's some pretty good ones i must say i uh 
I had so much fun with them. I just, like, got all kinds of, like, cards out. And I'm like, all right, what am I going to put in these? My rarest card. It's, like, my card worth the most? Or just the card that, like, in my opinion is the rarest? Because... <laughs> Let me just see. Woo! I'm dropping stuff. I'm really good at dropping stuff. I'm like, oh, this is full of energies. Ew. Woo! There goes my hat. <laughs> Making messes don't make me. So, I've got a couple of options. Enjoy the uh, slap of these. If I purchased Pokemon packs from McDonald's, would you ever ship them from Canada? I have shipped to Can Canada before. It just, I just can't send a ton at a time. But for like the regular shipping price, I could probably send like a couple like small stacks of cards. So like you could buy um, a few McDonald's packs and I'd be able to ship it to Canada. Because actually, uh, Total Dial tells is in Canada, but I have sent stuff to him multiple times, and it's just like, as long as it's a small amount of stuff, it's about the same. Do you have the voltage booster packs still sold in the envelope? This is Celebi art on it. Man, I forgot to check on that. I don't have anything sold in the envelope right now, but next time I go looking for Vivid, I, I will write that down so that I can check. Because I'm sure I could find one. It just might take a few days. Because I don't find Vivid every day, sadly. And I wish the day is when I could find Vivid, like, all the time. But yeah, I'll have to keep my eye out for it. Let's see. Where is it? Aha, uh -huh, there it is. Or I also sent you two created cards. But, but, like, how would I, how would I give up my graded cards? That's, like, I don't have any graded cards. So, like, giving them away would be, like, I don't know if I could do that. I don't know. <laughs> I'd have to uh, gather all of my strength. Be like, stay strong, Zell, stay strong. And then I'd be like, no, never mind, I can't. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. There we go. So probably like my two rarest cards are my Moltres EX from Fire Red Leaf Green and my Spicy Shiny Zard Boy. Two very, very nice cards. So yes, I would probably call those my rarest cards. I shall put them away now though, cause it's... Oh, I mixed up all my piles. The chance I get it graded. Yeah, that's true, that's true. I would, uh, you just have to make the pool rate slow. Yes, I would. It'll just, it's harder to give away stuff that I don't have, is, is the thing. So I would, I'd have to really like think it through. I'd be like, okay, I gotta be strong. I need to invest in this business. And in order to invest in this business, I can't keep everything for myself. I could do it. It would just be a little bit sad. <laughs> but that actually would be really fun to do uh, mystery packs with chances for graded cards and things like that. Because that would be fun. Yeah, I mean, let me think. McDonald's packs. I'm trying to like, think. I mean, you could probably purchase like 10 of them. And probably the normal shipping would be alright. I would certainly accept more graded. <laughs> That's just like, yeah, graded is never something I've had, so it's like, it's just like this like mystical thing. But it's just too expensive for me to get my own cards graded, because, yeah, I kind of, all of my money is currently here. So, <laughs> I can't really afford to grade cards but one day I mean it's not like my main priority by any means but it'd be cool to get some graded especially probably for like um 
in the future doing more things like, you know, mystery things with a chance for graded cards and all that. I would love to do that, honestly. Mystery packs, assembling them is so fun. And they're like one of my favorite things to sell. Because I feel like I, I try to make the chances to get something good a lot higher than it would be in a regular pack. And so like, it just like, it makes it more fun. It's like, you can't lose. I mean, never once in a while you'll get one without a hollow, but I feel like as I continue to grow and continue to get more cards that I can put in them, and especially if I try to do, uh, like, more expensive ones, I could probably have, like, at least, like, a hollow or a vintage in, like, every pack. And that would be cool to, like, be able to, like, guaranteed either a hollow, vintage, or bowl in every single pack. That would be so cool. I want to be able to offer. Like, it'd be so vibey. Ooh, we got another mystery pack. I like it, I like it. Let's do it. Let's get you something good. Got another beautiful pack. Let's just see what resides inside. All right, we got a Swirlix, Magnemite, Eevee, Boozle, then we have Orbital V and Blissey. I wonder if this one has any swirls on it. One that I can quickly see. All right, there we go. There are your cards. Thank you for the order, and I hope you enjoy those. Can I get those with your other stuff? No, over in this pile. And did I move the pile? No, the pile is over here. Yeah, yeah, I realize you said you're not buying in right now. I just wanted to make sure that you knew what, like, would be possibility. Just because. I feel like it's better to know, like, all the details before you make a decision. At least, that's what I like. I like to know all the details plus some. Before I decide on things. Because I'm bad at decisions. So, like, the more information I have on it, the better. Because, yes, it's good to be informed when making decisions, especially when you're, uh, most of your decisions are, like, include lots of money, <laughs> aka buying big Pokemon stuff. Have to pre-sell them, let's see. How did you get pulled first pack? No, they will sell. That's fair. Pre-sell them. Or just, I mean, like, my idea is it would be similar to the to Mr. Packs I currently have, where I was constantly just replenishing them. So say I've got, I have 40 packs, two of them have graded cards in them, and I sell 25 of them one night. Then before the next stream, I'll create 25 more, which could have any number of more graded cards and things in them. Like, that's kind of like what I would, my philosophy would be. So, like, you wouldn't know how many graded cards there were in each night. But you would know, like, it started with two, and so maybe one gets pulled that night. But who knows, maybe I might add two for the next night. You know, like, pull the Hollow Pikachu from McDonald's pack out of the set and collect all the Hollows from that set. Hey, that's epic. The Hollows from that set are beautiful, and I love mine so much. Also, welcome, TJT. Yes, we can. We can see you now. Has been all fixed. And it looks like we've got another order. Please load. Oh, we actually got two. We have two mystery packs for Chase, making it extra spicy. And then one more mystery pack for Arctis. All right, let's start with those two for Chase. One, two. Yeah, those two beautiful packs. Let's get you something good. All right, we're starting off with an Aurora Energy. We have the Nut from Roaring Skies, Phantom, Cyndaquil from the McDonald's set, and a Ditto V. I just love Ditto. Ditto is great. All right, I'd say that was not a bad pack. Let's see what is in your second one. Hopefully, even more spicy. We got Mareep. I love Mareep. 
There's an electrode, Cedra, Farfetched, and our sleep car, I Surfetched. I probably did that on purpose, but I don't actually know. Right, there are your cards. This is probably my favorite of all of them, not gonna lie. Did it is cool too, though. Hope you enjoy those, and I'll get those with the other cards. See which pile they're in. There we are. I found it pretty quick. It's always helpful when I find things quickly. Alright, there we go. Hope you enjoy those. Thank you for the purchase. Just make sure you sell enough to offset the cost. Oh, because you found it. Mr. Price. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I... I would make a lot and a lot and a lot. And, I mean, some of them wouldn't be as good as others. So I would try to make it even out and then still give me a decent profit margin because that is kind of important. All right, let's get into your pack, Arctis. Boop. All right, starting off with Vibrava, Alolan Grimer, Galvantula, Rattata, and our sleep car, a Zerud Reverse Rare. That was kind of one of the more boring ones, not gonna lie, but it's still something. So there are your cards. I'll get those with the rest of them. Better to do a list to make sure they all sell. Yes. My thing is just I would want it to be ongoing. So for me personally, I would probably just like, you know, like keep just having an ever increasing stock. So you never know how many mystery packs I'm going to have. You never know how many are going to have cool stuff in them. And I, I still have some like surprises in this current batch of mystery packs that I'm so excited for y'all to find. But I have no idea where they are in the pile. So I'm like, when are they going to find them? It's hopefully soon. Let's see. I'll get this with your other stuff, Arctic. There we go. Well, yeah, and I mean, like, tonight, uh, or probably not till tomorrow or Monday, I'll refresh all the mystery packs, like, that sold tonight. And I could, you know, put anything in there, but y'all don't even know what I'm talking about because you haven't gotten to some of the spiciest ones yet. I'm popping more bubble wrap. I'm gonna ship my bag whenever you get the chance. Awesome. Have you done some for shipping? Or do we still need to get shipping? I know I just recently sent you some stuff. At least I believe so. I look at my notepad. I have a lot of stuff going on in my notepad. So you'll have to remind me if uh You've already sent for shipping for this one, or if you got it from that. Alright, it was nice having you, Pokestar. Have a nice evening. Question, you ever signed a card from anyone who's getting their cards shipped out? Um, sometimes I'll sign energies for people. I have sent maybe four or five out. I mean, back when I did giveaways a lot, I would always include energies with that I signed, but... No, it's just very random. Like, usually if people do a special request, I don't mind sending an energy for them. They'll just have to make sure to uh, send me the request when I'm not busy on stream. Because sometimes it makes it hard to catch it. And I've been a problem in the past. But, yeah. I, I'm, I'm fine with signing cards. Just if people are like, hey, can you sign one of my energies? I'll be like, of course. And a signature will probably be worth a lot of money in the future, so. It is a variable, uh, very, wow. It is a very valuable asset. That was a struggle. All right, yeah, I'll sign one of your cards like this. Pay for shipping last night, awesome. I will try and get your stuff sent out tomorrow then. Awesome, cool, I will get your stuff sent out then. And let's see. Let me find an energy. I'll sign it and toss it in there. Collecting trainer signature cards. What? Ah, my friend just said it to be stupid. There we go. Now, get it 
card sleeve for it because I deserve the card sleeve. Get the air out a sec because I don't want the Sharpie to sweep. Get that nice and sleeved up and I'll put it with your stuff. Boop. There we go. It's a fire energy card. If it was a fire energy card. I mean, I could sign in Fire Energy card. <laughs> Usually I just like will sign the first one I can find. Or I like Fairy Energies, so those are kind of cool. <laughs> You're very welcome. I will, uh, let me see. Let me see where your pile is right there. I'll just get that put in a little Ziploc right now and put it on the edge of my desk with the other stuff I'm bringing up to send. And then so I can remember to bring that up. It's probably just once the stream, stream is over. Or in the morning, depending on how much energy I have. <laughs> Which of course is always zero. But it depends on if it's like zero like. But there's still like that little bit of like. I don't know. Anxiety. Uh, excitement. Adrenaline. I don't know. Whatever that weird energy that sometimes makes me do weird stuff at night is. Or, I'll, or like no energy as in like I am turning off, night is over, uh, the battery is out. So I'll see when it gets upstairs. I got that in its baggie with your name on it. So I will remember to get that up and ready to send out. Yes! Gotta love fairy energies. I mean, apparently they're gonna like become rare or something soon. I don't know if I have any close within my pile though. I don't know if I've pulled any in fi fairy energies recently. Like, see, there's one. Beautiful. I should like draw a picture on the fairy energy while we're in between orders. I should also probably check for orders just in case. But then I can doodle on the fairy energy, cause just why not? I love to put my art on energy cards. That's literally what I do with my hand painted cards. Which reminds me, in the future, I've decided that once I have more time for painting, I'm gonna start putting painted cards in mystery packs every now and then. And I'm so excited to like add that in. I think that would be so cool. Cause I mean, usually those things go for anywhere from like 20 to $90. As a good amount of $5 mystery pack is quite the score I'd say. All right, time to doodle. What do I want to doodle? Doodly doodle on my, my fairy energy. I'll just start journaling something. We'll see what happens. Don't you give out on me again, you silly Sharpie. Must cooperate. First, I guess I'm just putting my name on here. And as always, running out of space for the last two or three letters, because that's what I do every time. And then I'll just like do some doodly doodly things on the sides. It'll be gorgeous. Or just really random, but kind of still delightful. Sleeves are giving me bricks of energies for free. Dang. I'm not gonna lie, I would be kind of tempted to just be like, I could use these for painting. But at the same time, I'd be like, but I also still have them. But at the same time, I just love free stuff. <laughs> free stuff is just fun. It's like, it's an opportunity. And it's quite nice when you make a, uh, when you find an opportunity that is useful. Alright, I uh, I'm getting close to done doodling on my energy. It shall be so beautiful. Just cause I say so. It shall be beautiful. Cause Yes, that is how it works. If I say something, then that is how it is. Because, uh, just cause, this is good reasoning, is it not? All right, just a little bit more, a couple finishing details. So 
is almost done. <laughs> yes. Alright. It is almost done. Just one more little thing. Alright. Here's my randomly doodled on fairy energy. It was just a bunch of swirly things and then my name. Oh, I should like make the Z extra fancy though. Where did it go? <laughs> I accidentally performed a magic trick, I guess. Oops. <laughs> That was great. That was a. Uh, did not see that coming. Wow. That was new. <laughs> wow. Just, uh, wow. Right, now I'll finish the Z after that interesting little magic trick. I mean, I used to, like, have, like, a magic kit and stuff when I was younger, but can't say I've ever accidentally done a trick like that? Especially anytime recently. <laughs> Alright. There we go. I made it just a little bit fancier. There. Here is randomly doodled on card with my name. Which I shall put in a sleeve now just cause I can. And then probably just put some weird place to get lost until one day I find it and I'm like, look at this! Why do I have to pay for you to draw a picture? I am not the best at drawing people, but it would really depend on what like kind of kind of thing you want. You'd have to uh, like email me about that or something, and we could figure it out. Ooh, also, I like it. Five more mystery packs, even more chances to get some of the spicy, exciting stuff. One, two, three, four, five. All right, there are your packs. I'm excited to see which wonders reside in these ones. I had to purchase some just to see the Rainbow Bread Charizard. I mean, who wouldn't wish to see the to see the Zard? We always want to see Zards. All right, so now for the Radicate, the Simeon, Rowlet, Yumper. Ooh, and Team Aqua's Grimer. I was like, oh, this pack's gonna be boring. And then I was like, no, Team Aqua. It doesn't have to be good. Oh, well, if it doesn't have to be good, I could totally do something. Um, yeah, just email me about that. And, or message me on Discord or Instagram, whatever you prefer. And we can talk about that. Because I could probably do that. I would just have to find some time. All right, we got a Diglett Rhyhorn. Diglett again! Jilber, Doug Trio, and what's behind? It's an aromatic energy reverse. That was a weird pack I put together there. All right, three more. One of these has got to be something way more spicy. Why well, don't I put some wild ones together? Oh my gosh, it's a little in Doug Trio. Now that, that right there is spicy. Then we have a Whelmer. Oh my gosh, it's Snorlax. And a Pikachu. And what a sleeve dump. It is a Luxray Holofoil. All right, two more. Oh, this one feels thick. Wait, I might know what this is. Is this what I think? <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> this is one of the things I was very excited to, uh... <laughs> it's literally just a pack of Crimson Invasion. Like, it's sealed and everything. <laughs> so there you go. Let's see what Crimson has in store for you. I'm so proud of myself on this one. Isn't, isn't this just ingenious? Tell me this isn't genius. You're right, we got a fighting energy. Hakomo, counter catcher, fighting memory, Skiddo, Starly, Numel, Chimeco, Vunnel V, Star U Reverse. And a type null holofoil. That is beautiful. I really like that. Did I just pull a pack? Yes, he just pulled a pack out of a mystery pack. 
See, I told you I did some fun stuff. <laughs> Wasn't that just delightful? I'm so glad we got that. It's a beautiful type. No. All right, and one more. Let's see what this mystery pack holds for you. Yes. <laughs> All right, starting off with a pseudo widow. We got another Pikachu. Poliwhirl. Giraffe rig. And we have two sleeved cards, it looks like. Starting off the Hatterene. And a gorgeous Gardevoir. I hope you enjoyed all of your strange, uh, lovely surprises and things. Honestly, though, that type is hot. And there are all of your mystery pack cards. So congratulations on those. I hope you enjoy them. And I'll get them in with the rest of your stuff. There we go. They're in there and good to go. Whoops, I guess I gotta. <laughs> oh, I'm happy we found that. I'm not gonna lie, there's some cooler stuff still. There's still good stuff to find. And this might be harder to find after tonight since I'll be making a bunch more. Since obviously I don't have 40 anymore, I guess I probably should update the board. Let me count how many they're all still in here. Let's see, we got two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 left. I was obviously not 40, so I should update that. Let's see, here is a marker. Twenty-two. Nice. Got a good few of those sold, and I'm very happy. He made me out open more! Well, that's the point. They're supposed to be so fun and convenient because, like, you get stuff out of most of them. In my opinion, my mystery packs are better than a lot of regular packs. But at the same time, I can't quite have as good stuff as regular packs because it's not like I have just, like, a bunch of secret rares to sprinkle in there. I mean, maybe at times I have secret rares to put in there. Just not a ton of them. <laughs> Sadly, not a ton. You're gonna keep any of the cards you just pulled. I want to take the cards to be good for me and keep them. So you're saying I can have that type null? <laughs> if you couldn't tell, I clearly love type null. A lot of people don't seem to like know type null that well, which is kind of interesting. I just remember on a stream a while back, people were like, what is that? Like, what even is type null? And I'm like, it's what Sylvalli evolves from. They're like, but like, what is it? I'm like, it's just like a weird random thing next to like different animals that turns into Sylvalli. And they're just like, but what is it? I'm like, I don't know what you want. That was an interesting conversation. Yeah, I want to fill out your bag. All right. We can take those out. I mean, honestly, you still don't have like a super duper huge pile. You have a decent bit of stuff though. Let's see. Keep them all from the five. All right. Even, even your Team Aqua's Grimer. I thought that was pretty cool. Hey, Salem! Hi! Hey, it's so great to see you! Welcome to the stream! We're just vibing right now. Opening mystery packs, they're very fun. No one purple card. Alright, let's get the rest of your stuff put back in there. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Alright, let me refresh, just in case we got any other orders. Six more mystery! Probably gonna buy more physical! <laughs> Alright, nice. Alright, we give in Nick the Grimer. Nice. It is a very nice card, in my opinion. The mystery packs pulls were kind of surprising. I, I mean, I try to have pretty decent stuff in them. 
All right, I'll get that added to your stuff, Nick. Let's see, there's your pile. Okay, so six more, is that correct? All right, let's do it. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go, this is six. Hopefully we'll get you some stuff that you'll very much enjoy out of these ones. All right, starting off with Caterpie, Larvesta, Durant, Cricutot, Weedle, and an Arbeetle. This one was clearly a grass type themed one. I made more type themed ones than I thought I did, but apparently I made quite a few. All right, next up, oh my gosh, it's Dedenne. I love Dedenne. There's Pokemon Fan Club, Vulpix, Morlul, and Ditto, we got you another Ditto. Now, I guess that's just what happens when you open a lot of them. I mean, I don't have a ton of duplicates, but I guess there's two Dittos. I used to not see much anymore. I'm now just collecting. All right, let's get into this next one. We have Steel Spirit Link, Ralts, Tepic, Dictrio, Dugong, and our sleep card. <gasps> A Cramorant VMAX. I feel like that one's that one's a little bit spicier. Getting you a nice, beautiful VMAX. This one's not a promo card. Alright, and let's get into this next one. Oh, we got a Torchic. Is that, is that the only? <laughs> this is just, just a Torchic. Oh, we got three sleeve cards. We got Savile. We got Gurky. And we have Score Bunny. Look, we got you the whole set. Beautiful. <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? Why is there only one? I see. I was just being fancy. All right. Oh, wow. We got you another one. It's just one. And oh my gosh, is this what I think it is? Let's see. All right. So we got you to the score bunny. We have a smog mug. We have a cram rant V. We have a Reshiram Amazing Rare, and we have a Galarian Mask Shiny. You better believe you just got the God Pack. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that spicy? Tell me that's not spicy. Also, hi! Hello, Stroop. It's very nice to see you. These are exciting times. Gotta see Salem and Stroop. And now we just, we just got the God Pack. <laughs> so congrats on that. And we have one more pack for you. So let's see what we can get in that one. All right, we got Magnemite. Ooh, Jolteon. Togedemaru. Togedemaru again. And <gasps> you got the Full Town V Shiny. You're getting, you're getting into the good stuff now. Apparently a bunch of the good stuff ended up at the, at the back of the pile. And I shuffled these like completely randomly. Hey, Audrey, you're here too. Why is like all my epic milk buddies showing up? This is pretty snazzy. Right. I definitely think you got some spicier stuff this time around. There are all of those. I would say those are pretty fun. I'm tired. But like mostly in a good way not from the school that that the tiredness from doing school is bad the tiredness from streaming though it's kind of vibey all right let's see so artist are you giving uh the ditto to nick all right that looks like that's what's happening so i will pull that out of there and move that into nick's stuff but you should keep buying. I mean, I'm supportive. <laughs> You'll keep all the shinies, VMAX, and the amazing rare. Alrighty. Let me get those sorted out for you. So just these four, correct? Because I think those were all. We've got Jake in here too. Welcome. 
Alright, so just showing you all that one more time in case there's anything else you wanted. And now Art is just handing it the rest of it out. I like it. Alright, get that ditto in there. And I will get those beautiful cards in with the rest of your stuff. And just let me know if there's anything I missed that you wanted to keep. And I'll check for orders. See, I told you there was some spicy stuff in there. I've got even more spicy stuff to keep adding. Yes, perfect. All right, cool. I'll put the rest of those aside. Anybody can have them. All right. I'll, uh, I'll mainly just... Uh, Show off all the sleeved cards if anybody is interested in those. Or Beetle, Sable, Grookey, Score Bunny, Cramorant, Smog Mog, and another Score Bunny! And there's also a couple Pikachus in here that I can show again if anybody is interested. But yeah, I know I've still got some surprises in there. I'm so excited to add more. Oh, I better update this again, though. We have, I think, 16 left? If I can count, there are 16. If I messed up, there are not 16. <laughs> but I guess we will see. But 80 for the Houndoom! <laughs> you want my Houndoom baby so bad! But I love it, and Puffy's gonna kill me if I sell it. <laughs> She's not gonna be happy. She's like, Zell, I'm leaving. I, I can already I can already see you're typing it out. It would be tragic. And I'd just be like, what have I done? I have betrayed my puffy fish friend. And that's pretty that's pretty harsh. It's got like a ton of these bags of mystery packs that I gotta gather up. I need to add on more exciting stuff into them. Because I've definitely got some cooler stuff to add into mystery packs since. I'm trying to really up the quality of my mystery packs, starting with this set, and I'm just going to kind of keep trying to get better and better and better. Because I want to make stuff as amazing as possible. Just check for orders real quick. doesn't look like any more yet so I will just kind of try and organize my desk a little more since it's very chaotic scribble scribble yes this is the place of scribble scribble speaking of this is code card on my desk so in honor of you saying scribble scribble I'll do a scribble scribble and send it away whoosh Puffy's gonna be mad at me. <laughs> I know she's just some random person I met on the internet, but I care a lot about what random people I meet on the internet. What they think. I mean, they all are random people I met on the internet. This is true. I met a lot of random people on the internet, but this is just how I make friends. It's, uh, it's fun. My goodness. Fraser just wants my hound room so bad. I, I'm like, I almost want to sell it to you, but at the same time, I was so excited when I got it. I don't know if I could sell it. It's so pretty. Like I said, Buffy's not going to be happy. Hey, you know what? I got an idea. I'm going to. I'm going to open a pack of battle styles for myself. And if I get the Tyranitar, I'll sell you the Houndoom for 80. If I don't get a Tyranitar... Let's see. I'll hurry and update the amount of battle styles on the board. Boop. There we go. It's got Tyranitar pack art, so maybe there's a Tyranitar inside. I guess we'll see. Let's get that good gal. Scribble on it with my froggy pen. Whoosh! That was a bad throw. You grade it. That is that is kind of exciting. 
All right, we're starting off with the fighting energy. Energy Recycler. Girder. Cacturn. Murkrow. Salandit. Bellsprout. Mean Foo. Yamper. Indeedy Reverse. And a Salazzle. Unfortunately, that was not a Tyranitar. So, I will not be selling my Houndoom for 80. Please forgive me. This is my baby. So having it graded would, like, knowing it was graded and getting to see what it got would be cool. At the same time, I'd be like, but I could have gotten it graded. <laughs> I just, I just, it's my album, baby. I was so excited when I got that. It's so beautiful. Alright, I'm gonna check for orders and get a drink. Oh. And yawn, I guess. Mm. It is yummy. <laughs> Ooh, your first team opera Pokemon. That's exciting. I, uh, I want to inform you that there may be some more Team Aqua and Team Magma Pokemon going into future mystery packs. Because I may have some more to add. I'm going to have a lot of really cool stuff to add. There'll definitely be some older cards getting put in there. Um... I'll try and get more shinies, but let's see what else. V Max is for sure. Possibly start putting full art trainers in there. That'd be pretty exciting. And I mean, now y'all see that I, I can put packs into the mystery packs. I I had fun with that one. I was just like, oh, this is gonna be so fun. I got I got a very uh, pleasing reaction. I was like, yes. They were very surprised. I am, I am content. That is kind of what I wanted to go for. Oh my goodness, I just keep yawning. Clearly it is late at night. I think it's like 1am. Let me peek. Oh yes, 1.17am. <laughs> this is, uh, this is what happens. Indeed it is. Now, fortunately I have a ton of cards right now to add to mystery packs though a lot of them were ones that I bought instead of ones that I opened and got duplicates of since I have not been opening as much stuff for myself lately that is just because I'm trying as much as I can not to just use up all my own product on myself even though I would love to I gotta be strong because I don't want to go broke because that kind of be bad for the business and so in order to continue providing packs, I must not open all my packs. <laughs> my username on Discord. Uh, well, my username on Discord is Zalavir, because that's... My name is always Zalavir. <laughs> but I think I have a nickname on the server that's something Queen. Or Queen Zalavir. It might just be Queen Zalavir. I'd have to check, though. I don't remember exactly what it is. Let me, uh... I remember just fidgeting with this piece of the <laughs> Walgreens mystery pack. I should just click on my Discord real quick and peek at whatever it is. Whatever my nickname is. Contagious yawn. I'm sorry. I realize it's uh, very contagious. I do not know how to not do it. It just kind of does it. It's like, yeah, you're yawning now. Just so you know. Queen's elevator. Yeah, it's just Queen's elevator. That's what it is. It's my username of this court. But yeah. As for like my just like actual name and gamer tag, it's Zelavir uh O eight O. It's pretty easy to remember. I got very lucky and I was like, here are your numbers. They're easy to remember and I was like, that's helpful. O eight O. Miss Gleeps. <laughs> throw it away. I'll play with my bubble wrap instead. I was, I'm just very fidgety, I guess, at the moment. My hands need to be doing something. I can't just sit here. I mean, I'm talking, but my hands are just like, we must be doing. So I said check for orders and pop some bubble wrap because I just like doing that. Um, yeah. I'll get maybe... Four or five more minutes. 
you don't get any more orders, then we shall finish. I've said that like several times tonight, but I keep getting more last minute. It's kind of funny. It's like y'all just want to keep me going as long as possible. It's like strategically timed orders. <laughs> this is, it, it is all planned, it must be. Zell used yawn, it was effective. <laughs> yes, this is my attack. I'm so, uh, so good at this. <laughs> right, checking for orders again just because I keep doing it. Just in case. I wanna be for Kaido soon. When did I start collecting Pokemon? It actually hasn't even been a full year yet. This is weird because it's like Pokemon is my entire life now. But my friend introduced it to me, I think, in like maybe June of 2020. And he had been sorting through all of his cards, and so he showed me his, like a bunch of them he had sitting up, and I instantly fell in love with them. I was looking at them and all their names, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, these are delightful. And so like, I bought myself a bunch, and we went through it together, and I just, I adored the cards. I had such a fun time with them. I was like cataloging all of them, and I was just having such a fun time. And then I started getting into opening packs, and I just couldn't stop buying them. Like every couple days, I'd go out and buy more, and I just kept getting more and more and more. And then in August, out of nowhere, I was just like, "What if? What if I just post a video of me opening some packs online?" Because like I usually always open them with my friend, but he couldn't hang out that night, so I was like, "All right, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna video it and put it online." And so I did, and somehow after that, I, I just kept doing it, and I started, like, getting some subscribers and stuff, and I was just like, whoa, this is, like, actually working, and so I kind of just kept doing it as a hobby and, like, an excuse to buy more cards, and I'm like, mom, it's for my channel, but then it got to the point where I'm like, this is actually something I really enjoyed doing, because, I mean, I loved opening cards. And it was even cooler to get to open them, like, and show people. And then I got into the community, and it was just delightful. And then, you know, the next thing I know, I'm like, I want to, like, be a Pokemon YouTuber for a long time. And I started doing Rip and Ships, and life has just been crazy since then. And now, instead of going to college, I am a... <laughs> I am pursuing a career in YouTube and in selling art and crafts and just like all the things that like I always wanted to do but never thought I would get to. So yeah, that is that is my kind of my, my Pokemon story. How it just took over my life and now I am in love with it. Alright, I see your order, Nancy. You want shiny face, two unbroken bonds, one vivid, and one sun and moon. I like it. That's a good variety. I like variety. But then I like then at the same time, I like opening a ton of the same things at the same time. I just really love opening Pokemon. It's uh, quite simple. Alright, here's Shining Fates. Me too. And then I'll grab that from back here. Boop. Then next up, we've got two Unbroken Bonds. I'll update that. Ah, oh, that's a messy five. And then... Grab two of those. There are those. And then a vivid voltage. Where is vivid? Ah, it's right here. Boop, boop, boop. And I'll grab that. There we go. There's a vivid voltage. And our sun and moon. Where is sun and moon? It's right here. Right, um, full left. All right, oh, I gotta grab this in then before we start. There we go. All right, there we go. Five beautiful packs. Let's get some good stuff out of them. Get snip. It says show codes. Awesome, I'm sure someone will very much appreciate that. Scoop, scoop. That was a wacky throw, as most of my throws are at this point. One, two, three, four. All right, so enough with a metal energy. We have Corsola, Jumpy, Energy Switch, Paris, 
Lillipop, Bouncery, Dupider, Marini, Growlithe Reverse, and a Butterfree. I love Butterfree. Alright, and next up we have a Viva Voltage. Another amazing set. What time is it? It is probably like 1.30 a.m. right now. We're just vibing late into the night. People seem to have increased desire to buy Pokemon the later it gets, and so that's why I stay up late, because if they want Pokemon, I will provide Pokemon. Alright, we got a Fighting Energy, Opal, Matei, Giraffarig, Pineco, oop, there's a Clefairy, Tanamo, Milsery, Ew, Stone Energy, and Orbeetle V Full Art. Very nice, very nice. I'll get that sleeved up and put in a top loader. Going to sleep, silly little guy. Come to me, top loader. Beautiful. Alright, now I'm doing Broken Bonds. I absolutely love this set. I mean, I love most sets, but uh, this one's just, it's got tag teams, so it's like extra cool. Alright, there's that code card. There's a random scribble. There's a whoosh. Ooh, that was a bad whoosh. And yeah, we got one, two, three, four. Starting off with a darkness energy. We have Fairy Charm, Poliwhirl. Oop, there is a Devolution Spray Z. Licky Tongue, Venonat, Spiro. Oh, Jigglypuff, Grabby. Licky Licky Reverse Rare. I'll make sure to sleeve that up. And Celesteela GX. All right, all right. Your luck is pretty nice. Oh my gosh, I have heard all about Bye Bye Butterfree. And I'm afraid to watch it because it just sounds so sad. Like, how could you? It's just sadness. I just say goodbye to your little fluttery baby. There's sad times. Right. More in broken bonds. Let's see if we can get another spicy pool from it. Whoosh. There's a wild throw. Went all the way across the room. Alright, got a Lightning Energy, Torcat, Poliwhirl, Gloom, Bellsprout, Diglett, Polovag, Rhyhorn. Whoa, there was a Growlithe there, but more importantly, Reverse Ray Lucario. And, oh, it's Raichu! That is awesome, and you most certainly can have the Jigglypuff. A lot of people seem to like the Jigglypuff in this set. And it's honestly really fancy, so I can't blame them. I'll add that beautiful card to your pile. And now for Shining Fates. Snip. Flip that around. Hopefully we'll get you a shiny. That was a bad throw. I kind of just like tossed it off the table. Are you going to water energy? Oh, there's a Luxio. I keep pulling two things at once. Thwacky. He must not be named. More Pekka. Kyaknia. Toodle. Spinarat. Q fan, Yanma Reverse, and a Manaphy. I mean, overall, I do think you got some good stuff. You got that spicy Lucario, Celestilla, Licky Licky, Orbital V Full Art, and lots of other cute cards. Thank you for your order. I hope you enjoy those. Let me see where your stack is over here. Oh, there we go. It's all the way on the bottom. Got it. All right, there you go. So, some things are just very, very sad. Right, let me clean up my desk real quick. I don't think we have any more orders yet, so I guess I don't really need to rush, but I just want my desk to be clean. So, yeah. <laughs> Darkness. My uh, stickers on my face are getting loose. Got Bulbasaur. Keep trying to come off. My cap is pretty solid though. I wish he kept his butterfree for you. He's gonna get too sad. I'm gonna start crying. It's gonna be really awkward. And I'll just be like, I don't know what to do. I'm supposed to be streaming, but I'm crying about butterfree instead. Which honestly is a very understandable thing. Very understandable thing to be crying about. But crying's just not that fun. 
not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, so that is all of our orders for the time being. He should have kept Charizard. I feel like Charizard is just he let her butter free. <laughs> oh, lovely semi pun or something. I don't even know. But it has it, you can have my verbal. I'll just give it to you. <laughs> Charizard Charizard is like so fancy. I would definitely choose Charmander out of the first three starters because even though they all evolve into really cool things like Charizard though. Alright, it was great having you Arctis. Hope you have a lovely night and look forward to seeing you again sometime. I don't think we'll be going much longer anyways. Or just have been coming in slowly but if we get more, we'll keep going a bit longer. Though, I could also really use a snack. So, <laughs> soon I might be done and go snack. And now I'm going to pop more. <laughs> more of these. Because they're just delightful. Squirtle's gone. Squirtle is delightful. Still need to get my Squirtle for the McDonald's set. What if I open a pack from the McDonald's set, even though I've already opened too much stuff for myself tonight? We need to have a lot of McDonald's packs, so... <laughs> oh, what the heck. I'm gonna just do it after I pop a, mo a couple more things of bubble wrap. Let his butterfly go now, Charizard. That's even worse than... Ash, why do you gotta make us all sad? My goodness. Wait, I just wanna pop one more bubble. I don't want to pop. Just need one more. And then I'll open a McDonald's pack. Maybe I'm just not supposed to open a McDonald's pack so none of the bubbles will pop. What is this? What is this? Oh, I got two at once. Three. I just want to pop a bunch more. These things are addicting. Is anybody else here addicted to bubble wrap? Or is it just like... I'm not the only one here. But like, really loves it. Because, I don't know. It's just delightful. I love to fidget with things. All Ash's Pokemon left to go be with their kind, except for Pikachu. He really just be like, yeah, nah, y'all can head out. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. I wonder if they like get cat, get cat, cat. I wonder if they all, if any of them got caught later on by other trainers. I mean. <laughs> Alright, anyways, McDonald's back down beautiful pack let's see if by any chance I can get one of the last two whole full of cards I need or maybe I'll get like a Pikachu Charmander Bulbasaur or Squirtle cause well I need Squirtle is one of the need, the ones I need so maybe I mean I'll get one of the other ones I get Fennekin Litten and <gasps> speaking of Charmander <laughs> what are the chances I mean what are the chances like what are they that's kind of great. I was like, maybe I'll get, maybe I'll get one of these. There you have it. We got Charmander. We got pretty fun to play with when parents are on, when I'm around parents. I mean, my mom didn't seem to mind too much when me and my sister were playing with it earlier. <laughs> All right, not gonna lie, that just makes me more excited to open another one. So I'm gonna do it because I can. And because I really want to finish my set. Because then I won't have to open more. But at the same time, that makes me sad because I love opening it. Alright, I got Piplup. Popleo, one of the hardest ones for me to get. Turtwig and... <gasps> it's Mudkip! I love Mudkip so much. Not the one I need. But my heart is still happy because Mudkip. Alright, now I gotta... Ooh. <laughs> now I'm just gonna chill for a bit. But maybe like right before I end the stream, I will... Open one more McDonald's pack just to try. One more time. This may be though. I'll probably give the stream like four or five more minutes. Chikorita, but I have three hollow squirtles now. Yeah, I don't think I have any extra Chikoritas at the moment. I don't, I mean, I don't know if I ever had an extra one. 
decide to keep track of what I do and don't have. In terms of extras, but I mean, I just I just know what I'm missing from my personal one. Just Squirtle and Torchic, because I got the Sabble, my third to last one. Just get to get the two more. We'll be done. It'll be so exciting. But like, finally have my first complete set. That'll be good. That'll be very good. This bubble wrap is just too delightful, not gonna lie. Yeah, I've actually got a few um, Bulbasaur and Charmander, as well as two Pikachus. But I can't get that all of Squirtle, like, it just it eludes me. But one day, one day, I'm certain I will get it. I mean, I still have quite a few packs. I could always trade for it. You got it to Snivy! Yay! I'm glad to hear that Snivy has joined. I'm going to check for orders real quick. Yes, I am still awake. Streams have been going later and later lately. I mean, right now it's like 1.30, but earlier this week, I think I had one go to 3 a.m. <laughs> that was that was quite the time, going till 3 a.m. It was fun, though, because, uh, I mean, Pokemon. So I'll stay up as long as there is Pokemon to open. Also, I'm grabbing more bubble wrap because it's so delightful. The wrap is just amazing. It's just truly, truly amazing. Wow, this bubble wrap so beautiful. I don't know, probably just because I'm a very fidgety person. <laughs> it's like just keeps my fingers distracted. But I can just talk. It's easier to ramble when my hands are distracted so that they don't, like, you know, try to make me stop rambling and do something instead. But all I have really to do right now is check for orders and also just ramble. But we start, I'm still not seeing any more orders, so we'll likely end very soon. Until then, I'll just keep popping, <laughs> popping bubble wrap. Because I can, and I enjoy it. This is delightful. How do you stream so, for so long without spicy snacks and drinks? With lemonade? I don't know. I, I always just have at least something to drink. And that's it. Me a personal chef. I feel like I wouldn't be very, uh good person to have a personal chef. Honestly, I'm a really picky eater and I don't like fancy things. Like, if you let me pick what to have for dinner, I'll like eat some raw ramen. Maybe like a tortilla with some melted cheese on it. Nachos. I love eating nachos for dinner. What else do I eat? I don't know. I just, I like things that basically don't take any preparation because I don't like preparing things. I don't like cooking. I don't ever really intend to learn because I just don't want to. It's like, yeah, I could learn how to cook if I really wanted to, but the thing is I don't want to at all, so I'll just keep eating weird junk food. I mean, I still live with my parents though, so they, <laughs> they make me food. G grilled cheese and soup. I do like grilled cheese, but soup, no. Especially if it's tomato soup because I do not like anything with uh, tomato in it. I hate tomato products. Ugh. The person likes bubble wrap is Leonhart. Maybe one day I'll mail Leonhart some bubble wrap and be like, I heard you like bubble wrap. I do too. I pop it on my stream sometimes. Here is some for you to do that as well. I mean, I don't know if Leonhart actually streams, but this is some point you could, you know, enjoy the bubble wrap. It just really helped me a lot because I'm a super duper duper fidgety person. It just makes my fingers like happy. It's just... oh, so good. It's so good. Pop all the little bubbles. There shall be none left. Alright, I'm gonna check for orders again. I mean, honestly, I really think the main thing that keeps me up 
late when I'm streaming is kind of just like persistence. Like, I'm very committed to this. And I'm like, you know, if I go to bed early, I'll miss a lot of, you know, chances and a lot of fun. And yeah, so the longer I go, the more opportunities I'll have, the better it'll help my stream grow, the more chance that... Well, no, he probably won't enjoy it forever since bubble wrap does run out once you pop all the bubbles, but hopefully at least for a day or two. <laughs> Did you try this pearl rum that comes in a plastic bowl and it smells odd but tastes way better than the original? I just eat the cheap kind that comes in a square thing. <laughs> you know, like, uh... I think it's from like Machin or something like that. They're like two brands. One of them's like the actual top top ramen brand, and the other one's like some fake top ramen brand. And that's about it. I mean, we used to get we used to sometimes have this kind that was like in a cup. That one's not as easy to eat raw, so. <laughs> but yeah, I actually, when I was like in sixth grade or something, I would bring like my blocks of ramen to eat like at lunch and stuff. I was so weird, but I'm honestly still the same, so. Except that I don't have to eat lunch at school anymore. Man, it's been amazing not to have to eat lunch at school. I freaking love it. I just, you know, eat any time between 10 and two. And I'm like, all right, lunch has been done. Next year, I may have to eat lunch at school, like, every other day, but I'll only be going for, like, two periods one day, one period the other day. Oh, well, I know I should eat healthier. I just have serious, like, uh, appetite issues. I just don't like eating that much, which is clearly a problem, because eating is important. It's just my stomach is special. I need to, to work on it, but... It's a struggle. Sometimes when I try to like eat better, I just feel sick and I'm like, this is counterintuitive. And then so I give up. <laughs> I'm persistent in streaming and stuff like that, but when it comes to like eating better, it's just good that I'm eating two meals a day rather than one. <laughs> I went through a time where I was like eating one meal a day very regularly, but I always, like almost always have my midnight snack. Sure, it's like Cheez-Its and fruit snacks, but at least it's something. <laughs> I don't know what I'll have tonight. I'm out of Gushers, which I've been having lately. But I do have Cheez-Its, so I'll probably have those. I had like peach rings I could eat. Those are very yummy. I had some of those last night. But yeah, I know I need to eat healthier. I recognize that. I just... I don't know why, but it's so hard. Like, I tried to like eat stuff. I'm like, oh, this will be good. Ten minutes later, I'm like, why do I feel like I'm dying now? I'm like, it's not like I have, like, allergic reactions or stuff, but it just makes my stomach hurt, which is really lame. I'm like, that was supposed to be good for me. It just makes, gives me a stomach ache. It makes me not want to eat more. Yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a something. Something, something. But I just let it be what it is and try to at least eat some food and call it good. <laughs> Every once in a while I'll like eat healthy stuff and feel fine though and it's great. I'm like yay my body is doing what it's supposed to. Lately though it's just been nah. It's been kind of mean. It's a uh, lame. But this bubble wrap, let me tell you this bubble wrap is not lame. <laughs> So delightful. I just love it. Alright, I should check for orders and then if there are none, probably wrap up. Because it's late. And speaking of food, I should eat my midnight snack, even though it's like an hour or two past midnight. It's fine. Happens a lot. Alright, yeah. Looks like no more orders. So I will eat. Eat, not eat. I will open my one more McDonald's pack. And then I think I'll cuddle in the night. Goodbye, bubble wrap. All right, let's see what this pack will hold for us. Rip, rip. 
Oui. Yeah. So the Greeky, we have Cyndaquil, Totodile, and Snivy. Very, very cute. Let's bubble wrap it up. Exactly. Exactly. I appreciate that immensely, I must say. And yeah, with that, I think we are done for the night. Thank you guys for a super fun time. I have absolutely no idea if I'll stream tomorrow. Like, technically, I shouldn't. But will I? Maybe. Because I'll probably be getting more shiny star beats, so. It'll be tempting, but no promises. We'll just, we'll just wait and see. And yeah, I think that's all for tonight. I hope y'all have a lovely evening. I guess it's like the middle of the night now, so. Just have a lovely night and morning and all that. <laughs> and I will see you guys whenever I stream again, which will be tomorrow or Monday. So until then, farewell.